Are we live? Are we live? Seems like it. Okay then, let's continue. Uh, we need to get some power over here. Is this connected to the main network? Yes, it is. And we'll need some more medium poles connected between all of these as well. What the? Okay, something just popped up in front of me for no apparent reason. Oh, it's programs that run on startup finally starting. Okay. That should hopefully be the last of that. Um, I think just to save a splitter, we'll turn this one around. Don't have any fast belt on me. It's a little bit easier placing it physically sometimes. And I don't have any undergrounds either. Whoops. Oh yeah, let's turn this thing off. Make it go a little faster. Okay. And... I think we can just not worry about this one, actually. Right, so that gives us five inputs. Not my favorite number. Um, but I'll just do the usual thing and jam one of these into the side. Probably this one here. And then that spacing is just a little bit unfortunate. I guess if it's consistent, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. Now, are all of these connected? Yes, not quite. That should do it. And why are you not moving? Because this is facing the wrong way. There we go. Right, let's make a station. Um, off the roundabout is easier. Add some signals. And a station. Pick up station left side, seems about right. Uh, that'll be fine. I should definitely finally remove this little bit of rail from it. Oh, and uh, don't forget this time to add the encoded network ID so that doesn't go straight in the trash. Right. This one can just go straight here. I guess just this one so I won't even worry about the corners. Up 
upgrade these to stack inserters and make them go a bit faster. I think I have to start again. All right. So that should have all of these doing a mostly balanced load, just going slightly past the average in order to go faster. So that they can keep up with the belts. How much are we getting out of here? Oh, and the, I forgot that's not copper, that's from the biters. Uh, 224 per second, so if this is reasonably balanced uh, with the belts and everything, not the balancer here, I mean the way we've shaped it over this way, like this is definitely going to be more than one blue belt by a lot. That's a blue belt, that's a blue belt, that is definitely not, and that's not... So that's like three blue belts plus the sides. Yeah, that should probably give us 180 per second going through here. Looks like it is. And we've got 9.3 million. Hey, Zora. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems the power switch is uh, getting flicked at night. Um, although not all of them. Hmm. As long as the wall does its job, it's fine. Right, so that copper should help with that whole bottleneck. Considering that this one's full and waiting to be launched, I think we've maybe gotten a handle on the copper situation. Um, the next major bottleneck that we've got for now is iron plate. Which, just to confirm, looking at our storage, there's no iron or copper ore in storage. There is... there's actually some stone in storage. That's surprising. Steel is super duper backed up, which is excellent. Um, but yeah. No iron plate, no copper plate in storage at this point. And... The main thing that keeps reminding me that we're out of iron is rough data storage substrates. Um, but also, we're still making steel. Maybe I should... Hmm. I've been thinking about this for a long time, although I didn't think about it for a while, um, that I should really design the Omni smelters to talk to each other and have a, a global uh, variable using the circuit wiring that connects all the rail systems. Uh, we haven't actually used that yet, really, because of LTN in this playthrough, but we really don't need to be smelting steel right now, but all of these local smelters that don't have a ludicrous amount of steel stored up. Um, although 93k is getting there. Um, 89k. 80k. 90. So yeah, they're getting pretty... well, not this one. Uh, they're getting relatively close to saturating the steel as well. But in situations like this, I would really prefer for them to be prioritizing iron. Um, 
but naturally the the drop off that's shared for iron ore and iron plate to make iron plate and steel is the same relatively high priority. So we're gonna with the way things are, we're gonna keep turning it into steel, even though we've got a ludicrous amount of steel in storage. What I might do for now is just reduce the amount of steel that we're trying to store up here. And why did this one stop? Uh-oh. Um, why did we stop smelting? Huh? Let's see. Input signal steel negative one. Everything equals if everything equals one output one. Um if iron plate equals zero, output steel one. If steel is greater than 32k, each times negative 1, output each. Each greater than 0, output 1. So this is not outputting anything. It shouldn't matter that there's two conditions saying don't make iron. Um, I don't... So this is outputting nothing. And this one is receiving everything equals one, so it's outputting one of everything. And somehow this is this is outputting negative for everything as well. Huh? Is it because there's no iron ore up here, even though we've got iron ore on the belt? I think that's it. I think there's actually nothing wrong with this. Um, so the red wire here is... is the amount that we've got for each of these resources. And because we've got no iron ore or iron plate, it doesn't understand that there's iron ore on the belt. Okay, so that's actually fine. Just had to spend a few minutes reverse engineering my own design to figure it out. Cool. Now, is there any more iron ore on this planet that we can get to relatively easily? Uh, I don't think so. I think we would have done it by now. Not even with great difficulty, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look around here just to be sure. I want to get the spiders to clear this part out anyway. That is nothing but stone. And that is a bunch of biters coming to attack us. 
Uh, we do have some iron ore that we can exploit on other planets. It's just a bit of a nuisance uh, to do the logistics. Also, I could probably bump up the number of trains that can come here as well. Okay, I think I will personally head back for resupply. Uh, construction spiders, I don't think they really... I hate all these fake-outs where I think I see an iron ore uh, patch. That's the only thing I don't like about this cold biome. I'll send the construction spiders back as well. And military spiders, why don't you head over and do your thing over this way? Little zigzag to throw off the worms. Um, this looks pretty sparse. This part, not as much. Is this actually possible? I think it is. Oh, I think this is where I used the artillery specifically to get the spawners. Let's get them to clean that out and then we'll reevaluate. Okay. So, planets that we visited. Oh, that's Beryl. Uh, we've got 675,000 iron here, which is not nothing. Um, we're easily making enough, uh, delivery cannon capsules, so... How much belt and stuff did I leave here? Uh, not really enough. There's a hundred undergrounds. We could maybe... Well, we can plan it out with the satellite view. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, start with this one. Get to the edges and... Snap to grid relative. I don't really want to put... Actually, we've got plenty of power here, right? Yeah, we've really got plenty of power. And I think I left some miners here. I hope I did. I do not see any. Oh, 29. Fantastic. Hello, Vavranek. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hi. You have one iron ore close to your wall. You just send spiders over there. 15 million at a guess. Um, I think I already tapped... Is it this one? We've got 23 million here. Uh, but I'm guessing maybe you meant another one. It is very easy to miss. Oh, uh, that's that's nearly a million. It's nothing to scoff at. Look at the spider path. So they're going through it. Or is it... Oh! Oh! Damn, that is easy to miss. Well then, taking this area just became more urgent. Thank you. Good catch. Uh, yeah, 15 million and a nice big high throughput patch. That will help a lot. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, let's see how feasible it would be to take this lot. 
That's 33 already. I think I'm going to have to go there again if we want... Uh, if we want to take advantage of this patch. Splitter goes here. This one goes here. And then same thing over here. I'm just going to get one belt going back this way. So we don't rely on the bots to do this. Um, I'm hoping we have another cannon lying around. We do. Maybe we could even do a couple. Uh, might have to move this one. Do we have a filter inserter? Yep. So we could take the... Uh... Let's move this down here. Just so that we have some room. It'll also make it easier to spot that we're not doing the same resource there. Of course, if we're going to do this, I kind of need to put another signal receiver. That is, quote-unquote, only 2 megawatts. That's not too bad, actually. So this is going to be iron ore. If I do iron plate, it's going to be a lot... Denser. I don't think we have furnaces here, though. So we're going to lose out a... Oh, we do. Hello. Okay, so iron plate times two. This part's unconditional. This part is going to need a signal receiver. And bring this down here. Uh, we need some furnaces. I don't know how many. Well, we'll start them here anyway. Come to think of it, uh, if it wasn't such a pain, this planet is actually waterless, so we can't make um, we can't make vulcanite blocks out of the vulcanite here unless we send ice. So I think we'll just do the regular. Um, Regular smelting. That is a lot of ground to cover. We're definitely going to run out of belt. I don't think we brought rail here, and it would be a pain to set it up anyway. Although I do have the construction spider. Which has a bit more belt than I realized I had. That's good. Um, so that's like 100, 200, 300... Plus 50 more undergrounds. This might actually be doable without another trip. Alright, let's get our... Uh, whoops. Let's get our construction spider down to the mine. I'll remove this bit of belt until I can filters on those splitters. Uh, we need to set this to iron plate. In 
inputs go on the outside. Actually, if there's anything that could be yellow belt, it's this. Let's put... I'll do this as the final step. We'll put the filter inside of there. Okay. Something like this. And like so. Okay, so where's our belt so far? Um, I kind of want to run this backward. Let's do this. Snap to grid, relative... And go. Whoops. Still not seeing our target. There it is. Well, this might be a few too many. We'll see. A bot slayer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But we're not so slim. Good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Can I have your spare copper and uranium? I'm really low on both. Uh, sure. Just come and park next to my planet. Um, I didn't get the spider to carry mines, but... Or enough speed modules. Let's set up belt first. And off you go. Don't forget this bit. Multiple moves should trigger the bots to jump out. I think it's run out of the... Uh, underground belts it was carrying already. Okay, let's go pick up some more then. Meanwhile on Nervous, our spiders are not even scratched and most of them have a lot of uh, ammo remaining. So let's continue making the world safe for exploitation. I mean democracy. French. Uh, hello Dev Tim Tonics. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hola al Guyen Abia Espano Aqui. Uh, yeah, I only sp only really speak English, sorry, and not that I have anything against any other language, but that's the only one that I can moderate, so uh, gonna have to ask you to stick to that, please. All right, let's get spiders to pay these bases here a visit. Let's see how well that does. Okay. Um, Uh, 
That's a bit alarming. No, that's actually totally fine. Not bad. I don't suppose we're anywhere near getting some iron plate delivered here yet. Nope. Alright, we've got a couple of things to wait for, so... I would like to do some design work while we do. Uh, still got a couple of prerequisites to go for green science, so let's do that. Also, back on... Oh, I should check on our... Our one outpost that's under threat by biters. Seems it's doing totally fine. I'll just leave it... Uh, leave it to sit there for now. While we're in transit, let's take another look at Maria. Uh, looks like the bots have been dropping off some of these undergrounds. I wonder how close we're going to get if we don't have enough. We've still got 36 undergrounds here, and a few hundred uh, regular belt. I think we're going to make it. And I should have set some requests for miners as well. Uh, let's see. All of the prods, please. Uh, where do miners fit into things? Just after the burner mining drill here. Don't suppose you've run out of speed modules. It seems like you have. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, let's connect... Well, no, before we connect to the power, let's get all the modules that we can dropped in here. Oh, that's right. We're kind of using a lot of them over here. Um, I might just borrow these... Productivity modules, though, we should have zero? How many is the spider carrying already? Fifty. Uh, Thirty-five times five is definitely not below fifty. So, let's remove some of these. As long as the other miners, preferably ones that the other miners can still cover the remainder. I think there's only one of them, like, uh, two like that, though. Whatever, I'll just remove them like this, um, and when, when uh, Vulcanite mining becomes a priority again, we can just put them back. Also, really don't need speed modules up here either. Gonna need a substation down this way. That's actually sufficient. Module inserter should put productivities in these. Good. Okay. Uh, we don't... Oh, no, that's fine. Alright, go and place the miners down here, please. Oh, and also pick up some 
some more underground belts. Which I think you've already got the rest. Okay. Meanwhile, our military spiders are barely scratched. Fantastic. Don't think they need to continue following that particular course. How much ammo do they have left? Quite a lot. Oh, uh, probably a good time to try out my Tesla gun as well. Um, although I will need to fly over there. I'll get the speedy spider to get me close first. Rocket spam is pretty effective. Alright, where are we? Almost there. Tesla gun go bzrap. I've seen it without proper targets, but this will be the first time I've actually used it on the biters. Uh, let's put the spooder somewhere extra safe. And actually I should probably make sure I have a bit more speed. Alright. Oh my goodness. It's not as effective as I hoped on the behemoths. But it actually eviscerates all the spawners really easily. Which is the first thing you want to get rid of. Wow. I've already used nearly a quarter of a stack, though. Yeah, it's not really worth wasting it on the behemoths until we can get a better supply chain for the ammo. But quite effective at removing the spawners. Wow. How about we get our military spiders to follow me? And Railgun isn't that fun anymore after that. I mean, it's got incredible range and power. Oh, right. If I go in and out of jetpack, the spiders are going to stop following me. I guess I'll just have to continue jetpacking. I can also use myself as bait, so the spiders can... Except as soon as I fall... As soon as I fall, they stop following me as well. Hmm. I can try and just not get knocked down. One shot for all of those spawners. Not bad. I think you get a lot more value for a stack of ammo uh, out of the railgun. It's also a lot easier to stay at a safe distance, obviously. But 
Do I get more value out of it if they're all bunched up? Well, not really. There's a limit. Oh, that's a lot of biters. Not too much to deal with, though. I do wish the spit on the ground didn't knock you out of the sky. is quite the cluster of nests. We probably shouldn't attack it from the very middle. Let's send you on a little errand to tidy up everything that we've missed. And double check there's nothing there. Uh, and go over here after that. Now I can just focus on protecting myself while I attack them. Let's try Tesla right about here. It does jump a pretty far distance, but it's much more situational. Pretty cool, though. I'll definitely be taking a chest full of it back next time I go to orbit. I really want to get some logistics uh, between surfaces that doesn't require cargo rockets. Um, or delivery cannons, obviously, just because you can only put basic things in those. I just don't want the hassle of dealing with the cargo rocket sections and capsules. Bite or no bitey. Yeah, the railgun's a lot more reliable if you're trying to aim for the uh, spawners, though.
Alright. Where are our spiders? They're still all the way over there. Okay. Let's calm down for a minute. Um... I'll just hop down here so it's a little bit safer. Let's check on Mario. And what are we missing here? We don't have any cliff explosives. Um, that's probably going to be okay. That's a little bit awkward. I'll deal with that later. I don't know if we have any cliff explosives here, actually. No, we should. Yeah, we do. Okay, I just have to set requests for that spider. Um, cliff explosives. And let's put this back. Get the spider to go pick some up. And is there anything else missing here? No, we just need power. So let's get that placed while we're here. Should be carrying big power poles. Yes, good. Fantastic. Did we prod this? Yes. All right. Do a little dance so that the bots have time to put the cliff explosives in. And then... Uh, Nalvis DC rail receiver number one. Um, there should be... This was iron plate. So yeah, we'll use that. I think we've still got iron plate whitelisted. Yes, okay. So we just have to aim at this spot here. Um, don't need to set up a new one. So that goes here. I should probably have these constant combinators under all of these blocks so I don't have to check which is which. Uh, back. Copy, paste. Good. And then... These are going to have a condition of iron plate greater than zero. Where's our construction spider? It's on its way back. Oh, and the ore is already flowing. Fantastic. So, pretty soon we... There it is. There's our first little bit of ore. Nice. And once we get a hundred here... Well, a bit more than a hundred. Um, one of these is gonna... Send some iron plate back to Nalvis. And that is another... It's only 673,000, but it's nothing to scoff at. Oh, we're lacking some prods. Um, uh, let's quickly fix that. Productivity modules. I don't see any in the logistic network. Um... Did I not... I'm sure I set a request for this spider to have a lot of them. Yeah, productivity 3, 2000. I didn't think we placed all of them already. But I don't see any in storage. Let's just get rid of all of these, at least for now. And bring them back to the spider. That's 50. How many do we need here? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be it. Especially by the time I clicked, they should have a little bit more. Um, the iron ore belt has actually stopped. Is that... Huh? Oh, I forgot the final step here. So, once that filter is placed, I'll just set it to pick up the delivery cabin capsules. By the time I do that, these will be prodded up. And... That'll be that. Fantastic. That'll be a big help. Although we're not getting... You know what, with the... With the bonus that you get from using Vulcanite blocks, I almost wonder if it would have been better to send Iron Ore back to Nalvis here. But I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Meanwhile, we've taken uh, this iron patch here. Obviously, we're going to have to do a bit more work before we can actually exploit it. It will be nice to not have the biters occupying this part of the pollution cloud. That was one of our most frequent sources of attacks. And also the biters have to path through all of this, so that's not helping with the UPS. Uh, so, let's continue over this way. Looks like there's nothing but worms left here. Where are our spiders already? Oh, I missed one. Alright, straight through you go. And I'll act as the decoy. should be all it takes. Uh, map's a little bit misleading. Do spiders friendly fire themselves or each other? Uh, they can. Although we're just using regular rockets here that don't have the extra area of effect. They're getting a bit low on ammo. Nothing too stressful just yet. They've also got lasers if it comes down to it. Although I was thinking about having them... Uh, dropping it down to one laser each. Since they hardly ever use the lasers as it is. Um, the lasers won't fire if the target is walking dead, like there's already enough rockets on the way to kill it. Um, so it's strictly there just if they run out of ammo. Well, it's almost impossible to make the lasers fire when they've got rockets. Um, I think I'm done playing in the mud over here. Let's go 
design some uh, rail blocks. These SMG lasers or the spider ones? Uh, I'm not aware of any SMG lasers. I mean the personal laser defenses put on the spiders. So let's get our spider to come back here with us. But yeah, the auto-targeting stuff will actually not waste ammo by overkilling anything, um, and it somehow understands uh, when something is al effectively already dead. Okay, so I know I kept this because it's just a reminder of the ratios. Also, thinking out loud in terms of how we're going to lay this out. Um, perfect zero for burner inserters to inserters with a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, let's see. Net rate of 16 iron sticks. And this is going to spit out 76 inserters per second. Not bad. But how, just like with the uh, rail block, the problem is how do we actually have the items on the belt? How do we have the belts and inserters keep up? We couldn't do it if we used nothing but speed modules here. Um, so... Also, let's get our construction spiders in on the action, shall we? Uh, a couple of these guys have taken actual damage, but... That one's actually pretty bad. Relatively speaking. Uh, so let's get them to go and resupply after this. I'm not sh I don't think they'll have any trouble with those little bases. Okay. Apparently I'm not carrying as many speed modules as I normally would. Oh, I see what happened here. Actually, I don't think I was carrying speed modules before. We're not having trouble producing them, are we? Nope, not even close. Fantastic. What's this input supposed to be? Single cylinder... Wait, what? Uh... 10 single cylinder and 21 iron sticks per second. I guess that would be... Well, that'd be two inserters for this and, like, four inserters for this. That's not something we can realistically do. I think I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the, uh, uh, the modules for the rail production. And we're going to roll back how fast this is going to go until it makes sense with the belts and inserters. Uh, I do like this though, two in for one resource and one in for the other. So that'll be, this is iron sticks and this is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Single cylinder engines. We don't need this. We can do a direct insert of the output makes the stack inserters faster. Um, let's just limit this to one stack because this is not about storage. And... Okay, how fast is this already? 6.5 per second out. 
6.5 per second single cylinder engines. Uh, I don't actually know exactly how fast a stack inserter is going to go. If it has to pick up from a belt, it takes slightly longer, um, as opposed to instantly picking up a stack from a container. But it's supposed to swing like 2.3 times per second, 864 degrees. Uh, 2.37 times per second, minus the fra fraction of a second that it takes to pick up multiple items. Um, I suppose we could always change it, but what if we put nothing but speed modules in here, and suppose that the stack inserter can keep up with 6.5 items per second? That would mean there's nothing to do here but put in few efficiency modules. Or all of them, I guess. Seventy-five kilowatts with and one point five seven megawatts without. Wow. Okay. Now, what's our rate of consumption? Iron sticks is only 52 per second. Um, what? What? Why? Why are the bots hovering? The trucks of these spiders aren't full. They would be hovering over here if that was the problem. I've got roboports, of course these have roboports. Did the bots come from the spiders or from me? Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Welcome, this vegan. Rizberto. Ragnarok. Welcome, welcome. Spider army, yes indeed. Does anyone know why these bots are hovering? I think they were from the Spidertrons that picked these up. Um, but they should be either coming back to me or the spiders. None of the spiders have a lack of inventory space, from what I can see. If that was the problem, they would be hovering around the spiders. If the problem was charge, they would be hovering around the spiders or me. There isn't another robo-network here. Very strange. What if I undo? It does belong to the spiders. And it's... Apparently all of them come from this one. Which does have a full inventory. That's a little bit of a worry. Um, why is it just this one spider that's doing all the work. The others do have construction robots. It's a bit odd. Also, why are you carrying a cargo rocket silo? And all of this other random stuff. You actually had a request for cargo rocket silo. That, that's very odd. I don't remember doing that with just one yellow spider. Wait, they all have a request for cargo rock. When did I do this? Okay, never mind. Let's just, let's just fix it. I'm sure there's other things I should be fixing here, but I want to get that out of the way first. Are you also asking for a cargo rocket silo? Yes. EC issues? Oh no. I've been having some issues myself, actually. Uh, nothing I can't sort of bulldoze through so far, but 
seems to be getting worse. Like hard drive issues. Victor Magnus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so if if that's the speed we're gonna go here, then fifty-two iron stick per second. That's that's an inconvenient ratio. Maybe we could roll it back a little bit. Make it forty-five. If if this fits to exactly forty-five, I think I'll do it. Forty-four. That's actually really good. Um, why is the max consumption still? Oh, that's already. That's the limit, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So, I think this does 45 per second, 42, that's frustratingly close. Oh, wait, I forget why I did that there, but 47.5, okay, one belt of iron sticks, one belt of iron sticks, basically. Um, and this has to be single cylinder engines which we've got in the rail network, and then we need small electric. So iron plate, single cylinder, small electric. Uh, how much do we need of each with one of these blocks? Oh, I suppose the iron sticks would support two of these. Oh, that's uh, encroaching on that little build over there. Toss a production or speed module in the past slots. Uh, these ones can't use production mod uh, productivity modules. And uh, just like with rail, we can go faster in the machines specifically, but the belts and inserters actually can't keep up. Um, there's only so much throughput we can get out of the belts and inserters. Uh, so we slow it down a little bit. Uh, this build right here for rail um, can actually give us eight blue belts of rail. So don't really need to go faster than that. I hope. Uh, meanwhile... I think this part will be mirrored, probably. So I was thinking maybe we could do both yellow belts and stack uh, filter uh, regular inserters in the same block. So give us forty-four per second. We need one belt each of all of these three inputs. Uh, that's actually really, really good. That means we can... I was going to say that means we could do a shared input like this one. Um, but we actually need belt purity uh, so that we can have twice as many inserters picking up iron sticks here. Oh, and the single cylinder engines don't go where the small electric motors go. Although, something I could perhaps do? We could have a shared belt here, inputting for the two different machines. Instead of this, uh, we could have uh, single cylinder engines and small electric motors on this belt through the middle. That's less than half a belt for each. 
which means our train station is going to be simplified. Or, I mean, technically it's more complicated, but uh, with the tools that I have for how I do my train stations, it's going to be easier this way. So that means this is just a straight bit of belt. And I guess while we're simplifying that, uh, we could have this one tile closer with like a squiggly belt output, but it would be less symmetrical. So let's see, this gives us 22.44 per second. Nice. What's the max rate that this thing can support? 68 inserters per second, 136 transport belt. So if we do this build twice, uh, how much do we need? Two belts of this, two belts of this, and uh, two belts of this. That's slightly unfortunate. Um, if we do a shared input like this, that's going to be one belt of each. If we do a big shared input like this, that's two belts of each, and we could do the iron over this side. Uh, and then we only need... If we're going to do the yellow belt on the other side... Uh, oh, we actually need sil single cylinders. Hmm. I think this side we'd do shared single cylinder and small electric. And on this side we do iron plate by itself so it can come over here, single cylinder by itself, and we can merge them and bring them this way. That's probably a pretty good way to go about it. And we should easily be able to fit this in here. Okay. I think we'll bring this a bit closer. That should line up. Leave enough room for these inputs. Do we strictly have to have a substation there? I don't think so. It's not a great look. That's a bit better. So that can go there. That can go there. This can come much closer. Probably like here. Why does it have to do the diagonal? There we go. And we've definitely got room for those input parts. And then how do we do this twice? Actually, now that I look at it, I think it would be tidier if the substations were like this. And that means we can probably bring all this down a little bit closer. Maybe not that close. Actually, we could probably get away with that, but I'll put it here for now. And we'll put a couple of these 
probably side by side. We've got plenty of space to work with, I think. That's not going to be touching... No, that's fine. Okay, let's figure out our train stops. There's probably a couple of things I should be checking on as well. I think I sent the military spiders back home. Yes, good. Uh, let's get them to take another pass at everything up here. Should be fine. And I'll leave them there to reevaluate a bit. Um, how's our iron doing coming from that other planet? We've currently got 16k. There should be a train. What? Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, there should be a train coming to pick that up quite soon. Fantastic. And let's see. Chain signal going out. Regular signal coming in. Copy, paste, flip. Make sure that's in the right spot. This one goes here. This goes here. And I think I'll steal this design right here to save some time. We just have to change which resource is which. Uh, so that's going to be single cylinder engines and small electric motors. If possible, I'd love the small electric to be on this side. But that's not going to be the same on the other side. Either way is fine. Uh, let's see. Single cylinder engine. Small electric. And we have to change these ones as well. Small electric motor. So the way this uh, combinatorless balanced unloader works is it just looks at what's in the hands of all of the inserters, plus a bit of the belt, and it has to be empty of each resource before we pick some more up. So that is four belts, which is two full belts of each. which is what we're going to need to support this part. Uh, we need 72 iron plate per second, which is under two belts. Um, I suspect if we do... Okay, let me just double check something. Uh, this can do 88 inserters per second, and this is only going to ask for... 68 per second. Now, if we do at least 137 transport belts per second, what will that look like? How much iron? I keep thinking we need iron and gear to make transport belt, but it's iron and single cylinder engine. Uh, so the single cylinder engines we get on this side are going to be just for the transport belts. Let's get some idea of how fast this is going to be. We can't use productivity modules, I'm pretty sure. So this is probably going to be like rail or... Um, inserters again in that if we try to go as fast as possible the belts and inserters can't keep up. Uh, 
That's not as bad as I thought. Um, so this is 52 per second for each input. Uh, for each machine, it's two stack inserters for each resource. That's a bit tricky. And 21 transport belt out per second. Uh, I think we would need four... Three or four stack inserters to keep up with that. So that's a bit much. Um, if we could limit it to maybe... Half that, even? That would still be so much that the output would be tricky. Uh, what if we just remove the beacon? That's still really fast. Um, can we slow this down to the point where... We're just doing 90. Expand them just to be safe? Do you mean, like, space them out more? I guess if we don't use a beacon, we can space them however we like. That's, uh, that's quite good. Okay, so that's two belts of output, two belts of input one stack inserter for each input, one stack insert, two stack inserters for the output. Um, yeah, I think we'll just, well, we could beacon it for efficiency, I suppose. Um, how much power would this consume? Well, it'd be, uh, I don't need rate calculator for that. It would be 900 kilowatts times eight. We're looking at like seven, seven point six megawatts or something. Um, beacon efficiencies, minimum consumption seventy five kilowatts. Still minimum consumption. Still minimum consumption. That's how many we need. I think if we just. Take these ones out and add a couple more here. That's it. Okay. So two belts out, two belts in. Um, we're going to need. One stack inserter for input for each item. Don't know if I'll continue this vertically. Uh, yeah, I think we'll double this vertically, so we will continue it like that. And same thing on the other side. I'm going to need a bit more space here. Uh, let's make this copy pasteable for the moment. And then Alright, so we're looking at, on each side, one belt of input for each resource, which we've got. This one can change a little bit. And one full belt of output. Uh, sorry, that's two belts of output. So this whole thing would do four belts of output. 
uh, I was kind of underestimating that it would already be difficult. Well, maybe not too difficult, but I need to make sure the... Um, I need to make sure the items get placed on both sides of the belt. But as it is, this is more output than we can handle. Also, if we're going to have a substation in the middle, we're not going to have room for the beacon and the splitter. What I'm thinking is we'll have... We'll either have outputs going up like this, or maybe we can find room to split them all down the middle. Maybe. So... These eight... Oh, I don't need the uh, power to check this, because the efficiency beacon doesn't change it. Okay. So these eight are 88 per second. Um, if we put a splitter here, that should be enough to help, I think. And then... Can't quite squeeze that through here on the beacon side. Is there another way to do that last bit? Oh, and this is in the wrong spot. Uh, and this is in... Wait, no, it's not. Oh, what am I doing? This this has no output. Okay. I don't know how we're going to fit the output if we're going to have these beaconed. Uh, we could always have these a bit further apart if necessary. In fact, that would solve that little problem. Except we don't have room for enough output for this one. Hmm. Let's take a little break from this and check on our spiders. They are almost undamaged and have plenty of rockets. Fantastic. That should take care of that one. And we've actually just about finished taking this area back. Okay. I think I will have them clear out some small bases on the way back. How about one more big one? And then we'll have them resupply before I forget about them. Do they have roboports? Uh, no. Because the robots tend to get killed if they try and jump out and repair the spiders. Okay, um, these don't have to be close together, so, oh, I know what I can do. I should have realized it sooner. Uh, let's just move this for the moment, and this can be moved up a little bit, and then there should be room for the outputs over here. Um, am 
might do a split out after each set like that. And then uh, let's just delete this for the moment and I'll copy this in case there's something I missed. Except for this part, it's going to be different. We can have this output go over here. That might be a little bit better, actually. And... That's our four output belts. And don't forget these little... Uh, bits of belt over here. Oh. So we're looking at one full belt of each input. That's easy on this side. Uh, two belts of output from this, and splitters to make sure we use both sides. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Right, so how much do we... Uh, this is 176 per second. I'm pretty sure that's well above what we needed here. Fantastic. Uh, and now the question is, how much do we need overall? Iron is 160 per second. We can do that with one station. Uh, single cylinder engines... We're doing 90 over here, we just need another 90 up the top here, that'll be fine. Yeah, we can actually pull this off. Alright, so... We can do... how much iron do we need? 160 per second, cool. Um... This one will do a little bit more than that. It does need a combinator, though. We've got plenty of space. I think I should just use it for the iron plate. And we're going to have... Uh, which one is it? Single cylinder engines here. Which side should that go? Probably the right side. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think we'll have the single cylinder engines go over this way. Change this one up a bit. That'll feed down to here. One belt, two belt, easy enough. One belt of iron, two belt of iron, and call it three and four. Um, I should probably merge and split all of the iron, considering it's going to be going to both sides. And we're doing a balanced unload from the chests. Since I'm going to be doing that, we'll aim it this way to keep them all together. And then... Uh, there's a version of this that I made that is a corner. 
not too difficult. It's actually, I'm quite pleased with that. It's pretty compact. So this belt goes way over here. And this one. Uh, there isn't really a good spot to put this, is there? Let's just add a little bit more belt here. That's the output. I made that mistake last time when we did rail. Let me just confirm. We only need less than one belt input here. Good. Okay. I think I'll move all of these up just a tile just so that this bit lines up better, since we're using undergrounds here anyway. And over here as well. Okay. That goes there, that goes there. And this one over this way. And I think we'll bring this stuff up a little bit. Preferably so it lines up with these ones. So these don't need any splitters or anything. We just need one thing to go here and another to go here, I suppose. I think this will be a little bit neater. Okay. So then, these belts go over here. Don't need any splitters on this side either. Like so. a pretty good fit. Well, actually, we could have moved that up there if we wanted to. Right then. Substations go here and here. And then this is a good spot. Maybe it would have looked neater to do it like this. There we go. And obviously... You know what, now that I look at it... Uh, Okay, we've kind of got an iron mine that's still in the way here. So I'm not going to worry about it right now, but considering all the unused space that we've got, uh, I think we could probably do an output train track in the middle and double the whole thing like this if we wanted to, which is what I ended up doing for accumulators, solar stations, uh, solar panels and uh, rough data storage substrates because it is very much the input belts 
um, and the inserters uh, that are the bottleneck here, so we're not filling the whole thing with um, with machines like with signs. However, we do have this in the way, and for now, this is way more um, throughput than we're going to be needing. So this will be fine for the moment. Let's add some stations down here. And... I might be doing that backward. Nope, this is fine. Okay. So we're going to put our usual uh, loaders here. Wait, what's the throughput from this? Uh, two belts of inserters and four belts of uh, belt. Four belts of belt. So I think I'll use fast inserters for the inserters. Stack inserters for the belt. Oops. Uh, I forgot to do the outputs for these, but that's fine. 5.5 per second each, just one inserter. And same thing over here. And let's bring it down this way. Actually, that lines up pretty well. I think I'll just do it like this. Not like that. Okay, is it actually four belts of belt? Very nearly. So precise balance loader is going to be a little bit too slow. We're going to allow them to go one stack ahead of the average. And I don't think we need to, like, balance and split this. Just bring each belt to where it needs to go. In fact, it probably would have been better let's just put this where it needs to go first. I know we've got them picking up off corners, but one of them has to. And in the case of the inserters, the throughput is low enough that it's not going to matter. Oh, that's wrong as well. Uh, I guess we could have had them come from the sides, that's better. Okay. So I'm thinking we should actually have these go out further, and maybe that lines up almost perfect. What about this one? Not even close. Alright, let's just bring it down like this, and like this. Can you use the loaders to directly load trains? Do you mean those little box things that 
put items directly in and out of containers onto belts. Um, because I don't have that mod. Or do you mean can we load them directly from the belt onto the train? Let's add some power. That doesn't line up very well. That's unfortunate. Okay, how about this? That's pretty good. And something similar over here. I guess we'll do it like this just to be consistent. And then all that's left to do is uh, turn this into a standard pickup station. Let LTN know what we've got in the chests. Um, change the name, not that that's strictly necessary. Insert a provider. Belt provider. And connect like so. Provide stack threshold, 160, good. So, uh, hopefully, as soon as we set up these uh, input stations, that'll be it. Although, we are seriously lacking in iron for the moment. So, I might have to bump up the priority just to get this tested. Uh, what was this supposed to be? Even more single cylinder engines. Single cylinder engine. Now I get the chests are there as a buffer. Yeah, I don't have the loader mod if that was your question. Alright, so this is going to be iron plate and single cylinder engine requester, and this is single cylinder and small electric motor requester. I'm going to add some drop off combinators. Uh, let LTN know what's in the chests. Make sure this is connected. And... Now we just need to make the requests. I think these stack to 50. I'll ask for two train loads. Iron plate. Uh, 32k. And single cylinder. 16k. So in a few seconds we should see at least one of these lights go yellow. Oh. If I had remembered to connect the wires up, that is. So we're feeding LTN a negative signal for these items, which means it'll try to get that back to zero, which uh, it's going to send a train to bring these things. I see signals changing, but I don't see a train being scheduled here yet. I know we've got plenty of everything but iron, it does take a little while sometimes for LTN to schedule the drop. But it should have happened by now. Oh, there it is. That is single cylinder engines, of which we have probably 7.2 train loads waiting for us. Yep. Single cylinder... Uh, small electric motors... 
for some reason is stopped at 1.9k. Interesting. I built this block a long time ago when we were having no resource problems. There's no iron plate. And I guess single cylinder, I mean small electric motors have been used for something else. I don't remember what that might be. It's not used here. Uh, I could turn on the train stop names. Don't know that it's going to make it that much easier to find. I really don't remember what we've got in the rail system already that consumes small electric motors. You have enough trains? Uh, yes. I can see a few of them sitting in the depots, so the answer to that question is yes. Although, there are fewer trains sitting... those are small trains. Uh, there are fewer trains sitting in the depot than I was expecting, so... No path? Uh, indeed, we have just a little bit of rail missing over here. Let's get our construction spiders to pay it a visit. That's going to be a bit of a trek, but at least I can fire and forget. Did we signal this? We did not signal this. Um, I think I've got it... Okay, no. I would have to go back quite a bit to do the copy-paste of this, but... There we go. So probably if a train is trying to go here as well, it can't get there because there's a little bit of rail missing. Actually, that shouldn't matter. But I wonder... Oh, did I... Encoded network ID 2. Good. And good. Okay. More single cylinder engines are on the way. Um, I think I should go and make some more trains. I don't know exactly how many uh, spare depots we have, but it should be at least 18. So we'll go grab probably as many trains as we can make. What have we got here? Uh, we could make 10 trains. Seems like a good idea. But yeah, I am a little bit surprised that little bit of rail got missed. Where are our military spiders? They have resupplied. Let's keep pushing up this way. Let's be a little bit... Whoa, okay, wait. Let's be a little bit more careful against this base. Rocket control units have run out again. Well, they've been run out for a long time. As we're trying to make uh, space capsules and file driver ammo. Mostly it's the space capsules. Um, I really would not design this part with belts again next time. That is just way, 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 way more space capsules than needs to be here. 
and they are incredibly expensive. That's right, I was going to make trains, wasn't I? Construction spiders, still a couple of minutes out. Oh, I need to label this. Inserters, and... Belts. This train seems to be stuck here. Why is that? Unless it's a new train that's heading in that same direction. Yeah, we're getting some traffic weirdness here. This train being able to leave seems to be the lowest priority. I should probably uh, retire this old depot, actually. I should definitely retire that old depot. Let's do it now. The more modern depots that I've made have been really, really good, with the trains being able to exit to two different corners each. All right, let's get rid of this one. Um, I might just remove this right now. Might simplify the trains being able to leave. And this one. All right, could you just... There is a lot of traffic up here, for some reason. Alright, as much as it's gonna cause a bit of a problem in the short term, uh, let's get these guys out of here. And they'll... Oh, you're already trying to leave. I might just block this temporarily. And this as well. Make sure all of these trains can leave as soon as possible. I forgot to pick up the trains I want to place, didn't I? Let's give them a minute. Oh, and I should have... Okay, I did remove the only means they have to park here, signal-wise. Right, where are those trains? Yoink, and yoink. This will also stop them being refueled with the old uh, processed fuel as well. Now that they can run on rocket fuel or preferably nuclear fuel. Fantastic. Alright, let's get rid of the train stops just to be sure. And then... Place a few trains here. Oh, they're getting refueled with this. Rip. 
Uh, I definitely want to copy the schedule from one of these ones that's sitting idle. Damn it. Idle train. Go. And let's do a blueprint. Trains only. Uh, I brought enough to make ten, right? One, two, three. And away you go, please. What do you mean, no path? I'm guessing it's because they're all sticking out into the same sector here. Let's give it a little manual push. Oh, that's why. Okay, all the way back here, please. Auto. Uh, auto. Auto. Whoops. Let's just do this three at a time. And then just a couple more to go. That looks really weird. Let's push this back as far as we can this time. Hopefully I won't have to take any further steps. That's not working. Can I maybe push this forward a bit and then... Nope. Okay. I think I may have placed too many train blueprints here. Alright, you got your schedule. Packed your lunch. I think that's all of them. And now that they're leaving... Let's deconstruct this old thing. It's really in a terrible spot for a depot now that we're at this stage. I'm going to end up with a very full inventory in a moment. Are you actually trying to leave? Yes. Okay. I think I need to make more... Well, I was going to say I need to make more train paths, but getting rid of this depot here is definitely going to be a positive step. And let's grab all of this. And this. Fantastic. Just one train left to go. And 
and we can get rid of all this as well. Nice. And don't forget to put back that bit of rail or signal that I removed earlier. Although I don't think there's a reason to put that one chain signal back. I was sort of doing an experiment where uh, trains can overtake each other, basically. And I guess we don't need this whole thing anymore. And we should see a lot less uh, traffic trouble up here in time. Uh, my inventory is full. I need to get back. All right. What are we doing next? Um... This area is looking a lot tidier as well. And we've pretty much, pretty much, pretty much pushed them out to the pollution cloud. Hoping there's another choke point around here somewhere. Really want to get my hands on that 15 million iron. Speaking of which, still no iron plate over here. Uh, let's bump up the priority on this one, just temporarily so we can see it working. Oh, I forgot. We're also lacking small electric motors, which is also bottlenecked on iron. Lovely. Where is all of our iron going? That's right, I remember. It's going to steel. I did do something about that. Um, I changed the target for steel at all of these newer Omni smelters. Um, back down to... Just a couple of train loads. So where are you taking this iron? Of course, to make more steel. Um, I guess we should probably do the same little patch up at the old smelters. So, one, two, three, four, Five and six. That should keep us from smelting steel for a while. Let's see, the logic that I've got is we just try to smelt everything and then we remove conditions based we remove things that we're trying to smelt if certain conditions are met, like if there's no iron ore in storage, we don't try to smelt iron. Uh, if there's no iron plate, we don't try to smelt steel. I'm thinking I should maybe... Maybe add a condition whereby we have to have more iron plate than steel before we smelt any steel. A more bell. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, we should see... It'll take a little while to happen, but we should see... Oh. A bunch of iron got ejected. But this isn't full. I guess it wasn't... That's weird. 
Uh, okay, let's grab our item on ground. Deconstruction planner. And make sure we get all of that. Where are our construction spiders? They should have patched this by now. Yes, which means... Our train no longer has no path. I think there was something up here. Oh, it was just literally picking up a piece of rail. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. Let's bring the construction spiders back down here to pick this stuff up. How's our power been doing? We had to build more nuclear plants not that long ago. Uh, looks like it's doing totally fine. That's good. Morning, Shakka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so what's next? Next I would really like to see... Oh. Okay. There's our iron dropped off here. Let's get rid of the massive request priority. Um, but we also need iron to come to our miscellaneous block of intermediate products here so that we can make uh, small electric motors. So again, just for now, until we can test that new rail block, I want iron here as quickly as possible. Um, there should be, what do we got here, 15k, 14k, 29,000, that should be enough to trigger, no, it's just a bit less than enough to trigger a delivery, because I was, uh, trying different things, including increasing the request threshold, provide threshold, uh, to try and fix a bug that we kept having with the precise loaders here that ensure that we don't have an inserter sticking out at the end. Uh, so far it seems to be working, but I don't love having to have almost two train loads of iron plate lying around here before the trains come to collect it. But for overall throughput, it doesn't make it, di it doesn't really make a difference in the long run. Could I add space exploration to an ongoing map? I think so. I would probably recommend making a backup of your save before you do it, but I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. Oh. That's a pretty big base. We'll see how it goes and give feedback. Fair enough. Hope it works out. It will mess up some of your production chains like mining drills and inserters, but I'm guessing you're prepared for that, and that's not, like, the real issue, right? That'll make it fun? Okay. Um, that's a bit more damage than I was expecting, but this is fine. What else have we got going on? Oh, I never built those uh, provider chests. Also, we don't actually have the artillery here yet. Let's correct that. Uh, 
and just double check we're not destroying any cliff that's better than wall. That was a close one. Oh, this, uh... This could go here, though. Okay. That's our artillery. Which means... We're ready to have our artillery train delivered to here. Fantastic. Excuse me. And I'd better get there before the train does so that we have the chests to unload too. Uh, since you're here, why don't you continue attacking? You buy him? Even more biters up here. Oh my goodness. That should do it. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Worms are the only real threat. Maybe I could have had it a bit more aggressive going forward. Might have been better. get you to tidy this up and head back to base. Back to the mall. And here's our artillery train. We're actually still extremely slow on researching artillery shell range. Uh, looks like, well, of course, we're bottlenecking on material science packs, but we are getting a consistent flow of them. Nice. Oh, and uh, Space Rail. How many have we got? Fantastic. Uh, why don't we store some more? Nice. Pretty sure... Well, no, I know you can't productivity that. So that's fine. We'll actually be ready to start... Uh, ...making a space rail block soon. I guess we'll have to do a blueprint that includes all of the... Uh, ...scaffolding first, just like with when we make a offshore nuclear plant. Let's go give him a hand with the cliff explosives. And this goes here. Okay. I 
don't suppose we've got some iron here by now. Fantastic. And that gives us 3.1k so far with the small electric motors. I'll just double check. I don't believe this is the problem, but... Yeah, no, we've definitely got this set up correctly. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Streaming today? I've tried to start a new map, but it's just so much work, and I am spoilt by bots. Yeah, um... If I had a recommendation for space exploration, it's changed the settings a bit so that the start is faster. Definitely. More resources on Nalvis, uh, for one thing. And so far, I wouldn't say that the biters really add anything, although we did... It's pretty mysterious to me still. We did just once get attacked by giant space marine biters that tore through the base defenses very easily. Um, what's going on here? Destination full. Where are you trying to go? To, uh, what? Huh? What? 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 Hey, Creakly? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Why is this train... It says it's trying to go here. It's like one tile off. And it says destination full. Nani? Indeed. And what, how, what, okay, the only thing I've done different here that I haven't done before is allow a train limit greater than one. Um, I think I'll just see how that goes. I could maybe just add some stations here if I really want more train throughput. And you also seem to be confused. Destination full. Oh, is it because... Okay. I don't remember doing that, but I think that's probably what the issue was. So basically, I had a train limit of three with LTN, so it was sending three trains here, and then a vanilla train limit of one, although... That still doesn't really explain it, as far as I'm concerned, because what the trains do is drive to a temporary stop. Well, it didn't happen this time, that's weird. They usually drive to a temporary stop that's exactly where their target train station is, and then their target is the train station itself, and that gets rid of the ambiguity of train stop names. Um, but here they were driving to just the train stop, or maybe it was one tile short, is where the temporary stop is. I didn't think it was. Buggy McBug Pants? Uh, it, I wouldn't necessarily... If it's a bug, it's a consistent one. Let's put it that way.
actually, I was going to say, why was that iron not coming through? I need to go add one tile of belt over there. Unfortunately, it's a little far away. And construction spiders would be even slower. Let's go fix that ourselves with our speedy spider. That's weird. Why does this have a blue... Right, I think I just forgot how vanilla trains work or something. Right, so that's our artillery in all of our new walls. Fantastic. And let's just check this. I have the same... I think it must be part of that blueprint. Uh, the pickup station blueprint right here. Let's throw it down here for a sec. Yeah, enable train limit 1. Well, there's your problem. And I want to add... Um... What is it called? Encoded Network ID 2. Because I've only been using this for outpost stations. Uh, let's update that blueprint. Oh, wait, did I update this part? Yeah, that's, that's correct already. Um, select new contents save and there's a right side version as well get rid of the vanilla train limit encoded network id 2 that looks good select new contents Save. And we're good. Now let's go place that one bit of belt that I missed earlier. Right. So I don't know how long that was broken for, but that's going to give us some iron back as well. Oh, I meant to add a radar to this also. Uh, here seems good. Uh, but yeah, small electric motors is what we need here. And small electric, we've got 4.7 thousand. It seems to have stopped again because there's no iron. Iron does get turned into gears first, but that's already all backed up, uh, mostly. Never mind, I stand corrected. I don't think we can particularly prioritize uh, small electric motors with this build. But they are getting made at last. How fast are we making them if the belt gets saturated? 59 per second. That's not bad. Wait, what does an individual machine do? 3.7 per second. That might be too much. No, I don't think it's too much for the fast inserter since it's doing a direct pickup. A bit of ore on that belt. Uh, which belt? One of these?
Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit of stone. That does happen sometimes, just from placing the blueprints when there's uh, rocks to get rid of. But it's not quite enough to stop any of these inserters. I wonder if there's anywhere else that it ended up. Not at this end. Oh, that's right. I sent the construction spiders over here to pick up all of the items on the ground. That should just about do it. And let's send them to this spot here once, with, once they're done. They can pick up those rocks. All right, we've got the belts flowing properly now. And we've got trains coming in fast enough to outpace the four blue belts. Fantastic. How long until we get to see small electric motors? They need to reach 8,000 to trigger a drop. I am seeing iron plate dropped off here very frequently now, so... I know I set the priority ridiculously high, but I have I have hope that our throughput of iron plate is getting okay again, or at least less bad. Uh, 29k per minute in the last minute, 12k per minute, 21k per minute. Hard to say. 18k per minute over the last 10 hours. 15k per minute over the last 50, and now it's 30. Alright. Seems like it's doing a bit better for now. Um, we're still getting iron plate from Maria. Oh. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I set this to stop core mining when the accumulators aren't full. But it kind of stops the uh, uh, delivery cannon capsules from getting there for iron plate as well. I don't think I want to change this arrangement. It is far more important to have um, enough power available. Yeah, look, it, as soon as it reaches morning, the accumulators are full, so... Way more important to ensure we've got enough power for the... Did these just fire? Uh... Not see it unless I was at that planet. I hope it was because the media defense installations fired. I don't think they ran out of power. Yeah, no, I don't. I think that was okay. All right then. Six point seven K I really wish I hadn't um sort of put this here as an afterthought. Now let's get that little bit of stone off of those belts, shall we? There we go. I suppose we could priority output towards the small electric motors as opposed to the single cylinders. Mm. 
It's the same recipe, but it adds copper cable to it. And we've got a lot of single cylinder engines. And we've also still got iron plate and gear getting to half of this, even if we do that. So I think I'll keep it that way. Nice. So with that, um, we should see we should see 8k here within a minute or two and let me just double check we set this to super high priority yes good right we've already got the belt that's good um in fact Oh. Minor detail. Although, maybe until we see that side working, I shouldn't have the belt outputs fixed here for now. So the whole thing stops because we've got a balanced loader here, and those belts go specifically to different cargo wagons. Uh, why is this on just one side? Because there's no iron plate making it... Oh. Okay. And on this side? Alright, cool. Yeah, we're still starving for... Huh. No, we've got iron here. What's going on? 88 iron per second is a, just a bit less than two full blue belts, which we've definitely got able to flow into here. So what's the problem? Oh, it's now reaching the end of this belt. So it's single cylinder engines, perhaps? No? No, we've definitely got enough... Uh, we should have enough single-cylinder engines flowing in here. Oh, I forgot to put in a lane balancer, and there isn't a splitter either, so that might help. Have you tried the Spidertron Spidertron in a rocket? Uh yes. Do you mean the cargo rockets? They didn't auto deploy or anything, but you can take them to other planets at least. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna fix the issue. This thing should be outputting at 90 per second consistently. And it looks like it is. Are we seeing these all go full speed now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it should be slightly less than 90 per second, so this sh the end of the belt should get saturated. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Look at those belts fly. Okay. I'm going to temporarily stop all of this. Just because of the resource shortage and I... Huh? Um, oh, right. I didn't actually get to the part where we belt this to where it needs to go. 
details. Uh, so this is two belts. Yep. And this is two belts. Okay. Would it be better if that one started over the other side? Probably. Except it'll be a little bit different. This is more than eight tiles, of course it is. Okay. Tentatively, we'll say this goes here, and this goes here. Mirror that. have separate circuits for the chest unloaders? Um, no, I think this is fine. Um, I'm deliberately blocking this for now just because I want to make sure there's enough iron to test this thing. Also, what is that train doing? I see. Okay, and then we have these two uh, come down here. If you please. And I guess we'll do it like this. And then... Like so. Fantastic. And there's our inserters. Why have they stopped? For the same reason? Why have these ones not got burner inserters? Oh, that's why. Uh, also, I don't know if I said Maholic, welcome, welcome, good to see you again, hope you're doing well. Fourth Planet and Mad Mike, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also, good to see you again. Alright, these all seem to be working pretty well. Boop. And let's get rid of this giant priority, shall we? I'm not discontent with that build. It's fairly neat. Although it does, as I said before, use up a lot more space than it needs to. We could probably maybe cram this into half a block and double the whole thing. But again, that's in the way for now. And I don't think we're going to need that much throughput. This is more than enough to support uh, 304 machines making green signs. Which I'll just double check. We definitely got that set up. Yep. And the output stations here. Looking good. Putting this one up for a while, actually. We do have rail in the network already, so that's one less prerequisite we need to do for uh, pro production science packs. I'm thinking we could maybe make the productivity modules locally, 
since that's just red and green belt. Electric furnaces, though, uh, that's a lot of steps. Stone, stone brick, steel, heat shielding, and advanced circuits, just to make that. So, I guess we kind of need another block to do that. Uh, meanwhile, our military spiders are ready for another go. I really want to find a choke point around here that we could fortify, hopefully. And how are things on this planet? It seems the biters are slowly getting wiped out by the orbital cannons. Um, but it definitely doesn't hurt to lend them a hand. Let's get our laser spiders in on the action a bit. That should be enough for now. Get repaired after that in case you get a scratch. Core mining continues for Vitamolange. Uh, how about the. Okay, so we're nowhere near saturated with Vitamolange, but I think it's way more than enough. Spice is definitely way, way, way more than enough to support the uh, what we've got going on in orbit. Uh, especially when we're researching something that doesn't use bioscience packs and the entire bioscience belt is completely backed up. So, what else? Uh, iron. I would really like to get that 15 million iron flowing. which is mainly just about getting the spiders to do their thing. Although, I could also go ahead and uh, get the artillery to pull its weight. Let's start with this. I think I targeted that already. Let's go over here. Still trying to maximize the value from each shell, even though we're producing them very, very, very quickly. But considering we have at least one main resource that's bottlenecking everything right now. I don't think that's unreasonable. Right. That'll be a piece of cake for the spiders to clean up. Speaking of which, they're taking their sweet time getting there. Artillery shell production is... Uh, frozen for the moment. It's not enough radars coming in. That's not what I was expecting to see. Radars come in here. I just want to double check that we've got 
everything set up here so that we can actually get radars delivered. It seems like we do. Do we have 2,000 radars here? We've got none, but we do have the capacity to make them. Um, like, we've got everything set up for that. Again, it's iron plate that everything is bottlenecked on now. Okay. How much iron is left here? 338k. It's not going to get mined very quickly, though. See if we could speed it up just a little. Is this one empty? Yes. Oh, that one's not. That one doesn't have a beacon. Yes, it does. Don't really see a way to squeeze a beacon in there yet. Could add some more over here, I guess. That's not going to last very long. Why not put speed modules in the miners? Do you really need the productivity? Um, kinda. The, the amount of resources that you get, apart from core mining, is really not that much uh, with the default settings. Like, this is only 338k. It's not gonna... It's not gonna last us that long. Can I maybe fit... No. Nope. How about this? And that's still beaconed. change this belt a bit. Probably help if that beacon was under power. So we're looking at 33 per second. And get this out of my inventory, please. All right. What is next? We could still fit some more trains pretty easily, but uh, I am seeing a few spare in every depot, so I'm not too worried. How does it work when you mine out a planet, then remove the surface and reload load it? Do you get the resources back? Uh, I mean, if you reload your save, you're going to lose all the progress you made as well, if that's what you're asking. Finally, our military spiders are over here. Haven't taken a scratch yet. Fantastic. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is indeed a slow and insidious killer. I think they mean trim. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you don't have the resources. I, we did trim Nalvis earlier. I think we explored most of it uh, with the satellite. Um, but yeah, you don't really, you don't really get the resources back. I've trimmed an old world and its resources came back. 
but that was after 0.2 to 0.5 playthrough. Ah, uh, I think someone may have mentioned that a while ago, yeah. There has to have been an update for you to exploit that. Maybe these zigzags are a bit too small if the spiders following keep sitting still. That remote a mod? Uh, no, it's a vanilla remote, but... Sometimes I use the navigation satellite, which is part of the space exploration mod, uh, to pull a remote out of thin air. You can use it for the, uh, what is it called? Where, where is it? Oh, here it is, artillery targeting remote. You can use it for that as well. So, just press N for navigation satellite, and you can look at things wherever you want. And you can use this, you go to your inventory, there's like infinite of everything, but you don't actually place it, you just place ghosts. Uh, so you can use that for planning or getting bots to build things and such. But... Uh, if you go over here, here's an artillery remote. Uh, here is a Spidertron remote. And you can just use those temporarily. Uh, if you so desire. Oh, no, 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 no. That's how you lose spiders. Also, I accidentally sent the construction spiders over there. Seems we're getting a much better flow. Oh, did I change the priority back? I... that's the wrong block. I did not. That's probably got something to do with how we're getting a decent flow of these particular resources for now. Uh, since I can't think of something for them to do at the moment, I'll just send the Actually, I'll send the construction spiders down here, get this part done. And since I'm blanking on something else to do, um, why don't we get started on... I think I'll design the purple science block and that'll inform my decision about whether I'm going to make a separate block to make the electric furnaces. The starters, I think, will copy-paste the blue signs. And we'll see if the train stations can support this if we do purple signs. I don't think so, because I just remembered how much rail purple signs requires. 30 per second. That is going to be a problem. Although, it won't hurt to build this out and just get a feel for what the rate would be. Um, and change what we're going to do based on that. Okay. These are purple now. Yes. We'll probably need the supply train to pay us a visit. 
if we want to build this in one go. Oh, and I wanted to check if... I mean, considering the demand for iron plate, we're never going to manage to fill this. But we should have this thing set up for safety anyway. So just after this fires, just for a moment, these inserters should switch off once the cannon shell arrives. Yep, looks good. Fantastic. Learned the hard way that you definitely should uh, set up your communication system for whether you should fire the cannons uh, so that if it loses power on this end, things are not sent to the delivery cannon chests. Um, but yeah, here's our train. I was just about to select just one of these and multiply it out, but I guess we can do it this way. Looks like we've got all of our modules. And this would require... Drum roll. 1,000. 1,031 uh, rail per second input. I don't think we will be quite going that fast. Um, that's for 135 per second out as well. That is a lot slower than some of our other sciences. 80 per second. 180 per second. 180 per second. Okay. So the question is... I guess we're bottlenecking this on rail coming in. Um, if we use two train stops for rail, we can do 360 per second. Um, we actually need to have enough space. Uh, to use that properly. I'll tentatively leave the... Well, this will be fine. I'll leave the output station where it is. That's not going to change very much. Purple science. And then... Since we're going to be super duper bottlenecked on the input belts for rail, I think we're going to have plenty of space left over to, for example, definitely to make productivity one modules. Maybe also to make um, electric furnaces in the same block. So we'll start with... Supposing that we're going to do 180 rail per second coming in on each side, I think. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I might change this, but I'll just put that there as a placeholder. We could have it go to the left or right. Copy the same thing over here. And 
and see how many blocks of purple science machines we're going to make. If we're going to be bottlenecked on that much rail. Oops. Where are my beacons? There we go. So supposing we use speed and productivity. This is... Not as bad as I thought. 25 rail per second. Bounce 34. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and a vanishingly small amount of productivity and electric furnace. 3.2 rail per second per machine. That makes it pretty easy. So we're going to do... Um, We could do the belt weaving, but I don't think we're going to need that much space. But let's just suppose we are going to do the belt weaving. Red belt is going to be... Uh, productivity modules and electric furnaces. Actually, I'm 99% sure that doesn't need to be a stack inserter, even. We probably don't even need a stack inserter for the rail. 3.2 per second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these can all just be fast. And output. This whole thing is 3.39 per second. In other words, it's very slow. Each individual machine, we're looking at less than half one per second. All right, then. How many of these can we reasonably fit? Snap to grid, relative, uh... Height is 12, width is 12, we could definitely fit four of these. Except I think that's going to be too much rail, isn't it? Unless we have double inputs on the sides. Uh, 64 rail. How much does it take to get 45? That's 38. We could do... just another belt the rail input. One, two, three, four, five. So this one goes there, I think. That is ten machines, and that is ten machines. Okay, so... 32 rail per second in here. The whole thing only needs 2.1 per second for each of these resources. It's actually overkill to use the red belts for that. Um, but we don't carry a whole lot of yellow belt, I think. In fact, I don't see any... Oh. We do have a little yellow belt. Okay. Probably the same amount of red. Although I've got none personally. This was a little bit more than 30 per second. Yeah, okay, so that should be blue. Uh, 
How about... Well, I can worry about that later. It also makes it a lot easier to do this. Alright, so what are we looking at? 128 rail per second. Uh, multiply that out by 4, and we've already got more than we can bring in with those train stops. Uh, 3 is just slightly too many. What if we remove the last beacon and everything it supports? Multiply this by four. That's too much. Uh, okay, let's see. How many of these does it take to go 360? Oh, th is it 360? Yeah, 360. 110... Oh, 112 exactly. Okay. 28. And this is 32. Sure, let's get rid of the last four of these. And just to check... The whole thing on one side. That's exactly one belt of rail. That's fantastic. Okay, so we don't need this thing. That's gonna go there. Okay, so that's two belts of rail. We're gonna multiply that out by four. Um, it's going to look like this, and that leaves us room, I think. Let's bring it down closer to our final output. I'll bump the uh, final set of beacons up a little bit so that we have more room for this. I think we used all of our yellow belt already. Okay, we got our, all of our modules. 360 rail per second. 47.55 purple signs per second. Slightly more than one blue belt. That is... Just a tiny bit annoying. Oh, and we ended up with stone in here as well, again. Um, can we do it like this? Oops. I think it's going to be okay to just use one belt to merge these like this every time because we're just over one belt in total. And then this whole thing is going to be a quarter of it. So yeah, we can just uh, do it like so. This one's obviously going to be a little bit different. No splitter required. All right. And we could probably bring all this down one tile by using an underground over here if we want to. 
But what I really want to see here is can we easily, we should be able to easily support this whole thing with 12 productivity modules per second. Uh, we can't use prods to make prods, so it's going to be full speed ahead. All the more reason that it shouldn't be difficult. Where am I? Beacons. Shouldn't be difficult to get enough in a small space. In fact, this is way more than enough. Uh, let's slow it down a bit. Our target is 12 per second. 13 will do. So 65 electronic circuits per second is what we need to support this. And red circuits are almost trivial. Less than half belt in total. Uh, so we need two full belts of electronic circuits coming here. Each individual machine requires 8.1 per second. That just might be more than a single stack inserter. We'll use a long arm for the reds, because that is quite slow. And then the question is, how do we lay out our frame stations? Um, if we need 65 green circuits per second, we can't do the shared belts thing here. I'm having an idea for a very different kind of shared station. Don't know how viable this is going to be, but we'll soon see. So this one's going to be green circuits. And I guess we can have all of these connected. Change this one to green circuits. And this is red circuits. We'll have them merge like so. And I wasn't going to go down this way, but I guess that might be the easiest place to get them out. Or even the only place, actually. All we need is 13 per second. Not even half of one belt. So we could do just one... Uh, one chest for each cargo wagon. And... Yeah. Not too difficult. Tentatively put that there. And this goes here, somewhere. Wait, what? That was... Red circuits should go here. Okay. Next, we just need to connect all of this again. And 
read belt contents hold, read hand contents hold, red circuit needs to equal zero. Make sure all of these are connected. And that'll do. Don't forget this part. You missed a little belt. Yes, indeed. Uh, Numfairline. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Never mind. No worries. Haven't played around much with Spidertrons. They are great. You should get them as soon as you can. Um, alright. So... This goes... Actually, let's make sure we copy this part. This goes here, goes here, goes here. And... I think it's fine to connect the chests pretty much normally. Bring that down there. Now the only question is, and I think the answer is no, um, unless we use some other space for drop-offs. Stone, stone brick, steel, and red circuit, and heat shielding. Stone, stone brick, steel, heat shielding. And we could maybe steal red circuits from here to make the... Uh, to make the furnaces. How many furnaces do we need? Probably the same as productivity modules. Oh, and I wanted to efficiency this since we uh since we've already got the speed that we need here. Um and yeah, if we need to, we can add more stack inserters to bring in the green circuits. This is minimum consumption. That is not. Okay. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, also, we will need to... Output some um, rods here. That doesn't quite cover everything. Is there an easy way to add landfill slash scaffolding to blueprints? I think you need a mod for that. Could be wrong. And since it's just on one belt. Uh, we're going to have a very easy time splitting it all where it needs to go. Uh, let's do an upgrade planner real quick. From red to yellow. Does that... yeah, it'll reach. Right then. Yellow belt goes here, and uh, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Is it not? That's fine. doesn't actually need to be a splitter. Okay. Nice and easy. Oh. I almost forgot. Um, this will need to be a red belt because it needs to share... 12 past 12, 24, 
Okay. Let's do a... Use the nav set so that we can make a temporary upgrade planner. Uh, yellow becomes red. Yellow becomes red. Yellow becomes red. And start here. Except then it's going to do all those yellows in the middle that don't need to be any faster. What? Not that one. Alright. Cool. And I think this needs to be a red as well. Or at least... Uh, I need to push all of this to one side. No, we can just use red belt from this point on and... Why am I overcomplicating this? It's actually really straightforward. Okay. Which means this part could be yellow as well. Alright, so what does it take to make electric furnaces? And how many do we need? 12 per second. We can't prod them... So we're just going to use like 8 speed, probably. Actually, how fast do we make productivity ones? Uh, 2 seconds. This takes half a second, 3 seconds, and 5 seconds. That's going to be a pain. Um, is it 1 to 1 to 1? Yes. So we need 12 per second for each of these. Uh, this alone is 2.5 per second. If we speed module it, 6.5 per second. So two of these. Sandbox mode, place a blueprint and edit it accordingly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I understand the question. I thought you meant, like, in the normal game as you play. Let's get rid of these blueprints. Okay, so this will do more than 12 per second. Perfect. Actually, I think this is probably going to work out to be 13 per second for all of these, isn't it? What do we got here? Only 2.1666 per second. It takes 12 of these to make 13. So we're going to use speed modules for this one. I mean, a uh, beacon, that is. And that's going to be way more than enough, I think. So we'll probably swap some out for efficiency. No. That's surprising. That's still only 8.6 per second. How many do we need to make 13 per second without a beacon? Eight. Wait, what? Oh, that's with a beacon. So 12 of these without a beacon would be 13 per second. What? Oh, we're missing... Uh, okay. 
8. 14 per second. What? Did I miss something? Okay. Uh, that is a lot of stone brick and steel. But that's fine, I guess. Less than two belts each. We can manage that. Individual machines need two stack inserters for each of these resources. That's rough. And only 1.75 per second input and output. So... Let's move that. So, SFA for output, same for input, and we need two blue belts, one of each type. That's only going to leave room for one stack inserter for each resource coming in. Um, yeah, we're going to need two stack inserters to support each resource input. I'm thinking we just don't beacon this or use efficiencies for the beacon. Uh, and we need 12 to do 13 per second. So individually, these just need 6.5 per second in. Uh, I don't know if one stack inserter can keep up with that. We can give it a try. Uh, it probably should be able to keep up. Oh, there's a lot of things. Like, after all of my hours playing Factorio, I still learn things. What was it yesterday? Um, I saw on another stream. It may have been the even distribution mod. You can press, like, Control c to dump everything into nearby... Uh... For example, furnaces and stuff. In my defense, I think that was a feature that was added later on. Seventy-eight. Hmm. So if we don't speed beacon this, we should be able to support uh, the inputs with one stack inserter for each type. That's 26 per second for each. We need more space. Uh, I'm going to probably have this go horizontal, but I find it easier to design it vertically. Let's get a power pole. Okay, so we need 12 of these. Which is going to give us 13 per second. That requires 39 per second for the main inputs on each side. Um, those long arm inserters are not going to be in a good spot. There we go. 
we could probably do a belt weave to have the inputs in here, but I'd much rather have the uh, substations doing their thing. Uh, so. That stops there. That goes there. And... That doesn't look right. That definitely doesn't look right. Uh, let's just delete this and design it deliberately. That should be it. Okay. And then electric furnaces. Oh, um, I was going to squeeze in some beacons, wasn't I? There's 12 of these, though, so I don't really see... Unless I separate this by one tile, um, which isn't a bad idea, actually. Get rid of the subs in the middle that I was so concerned about before. Efficiency goes here. We could probably separate this by one more tile. Put a substation in the middle. And we can, of course... Squeeze in a little bit more underground there. Oh, of course the substation just barely doesn't reach on either end. Uh, we can only go like one tile closer than this. But yeah, I could have put the subs there anyway. That's as uh, close as we can go. Otherwise the beacons will shut off some of these machines. Right then. Next is electric furnaces, which need red circuits. Well, let's just lay them out first. Uh, just to confirm, we cannot use prods. And how many does it take to get 13 per second? Or 12 per second, that's the real target. 19, let's make it 20 just to be even. Uh, we haven't tried giving them speed modules yet though. Speed beacons. This is only 8.4 per second still. Uh, if we do 12, we actually hit our target, and just a little bit more. We would need two belts of steel, two belts of advanced circuit. Well, we're not getting our advanced circuit from that if we do that. Although we could do something similar here again. Um, 
two belts of steel, two belts of advanced circuit, a bit more than half a blue belt of heat shielding, and of course a small amount of steel furnaces. So, it's only 5.2 per second for any individual resource, so we don't need multiple uh, stack inserters for each resource. I think I'll start by copying this layout a little bit, just so we've got the beacons in the right place. Okay, now, in fact, yeah, this layout on the side is going to be useful again, except we're going to need to do a half belt of steel furnaces and a half belt of uh, heat shielding on each side here. Okay. So let's see. We've got our rail, we've got our green and red circuits here for productivity modules. Uh, I don't think we're going to take from these red circuits here to help make... Wait, what's our total consumption of red circuits? 76 per second, that's less than two, bl uh, two blue belts. So we actually could just... Oh, I don't know if four inserters are going to... saturate two blue belts. Definitely not. Um... We could do four inserters for each belt. I think that might actually be enough. Maybe. How it do? Not bad. Yeah, Blueprint Flip has uh, been vanilla for a while now. Oh, that part doesn't need to be... Wait, yes it does. Okay, but I'm going to need to change this up a bit. I think I'll just delete this and then copy this over the top of it to make sure there are no mistakes. That part looks okay. Right, this is a weird looking station. So, only two stack inserters per, per cargo wagon, four for each belt. I think that can saturate it, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not with a stack size of 10. Um, so we've got our two red belts. We'll bring those down here. Oh, I already did. Derp. Uh, let's bring this build over here. Since 
Oh. Let's take this part only. Default controls are F and G. Yes, indeed. There's also another key someone showed me, but I think it just basically does, like, F and G at the same time. Is it F and G? Yeah. Or is it G that does, like, F and R at the same time? I don't remember. Anyway, um, so our red circuits are going to have to go to these outer belts here. That's a little bit inconvenient. Um, but I guess it's fine. We'll obviously tidy up this a little bit later on, but I just want to figure out where things could or should go. Um, let's move that a bit further back. And this one. it through here somewhere. This is one of the more interesting weird builds I've done in a while. Okay. So these two belts right here need to be heat shielding. I think I'll just make a note of that for the moment. Heat shielding. I forget, forgot all the key binds after a large break and now I'm just starting from scratch I guess. Feels like it anyway. Check out the uh, settings and the options and stuff you might discover something that you didn't expect to. Okay. So we only need 25 heat shielding per second. Um, but we need 63 steel per second plus 78 steel per second. Jeez. And a total of 65 stone per second. Yikes. So we need uh, four belts for steel, two belts for stone brick, two belts for stone, and one belt for heat shielding. Okay then. I think up the top here we will do why does stone brick come in over here? Let's copy paste flip this. Something's in the way. It's a rock. And I th what I'm hoping I can do here is... We'll do heat shielding here. That'll easily be, um, in fact, we can get rid of some of these. Uh, we may as well have the train unload a bit faster. Um, heat shielding's gonna come down this way. And 
this way as well. Of course, that's not going to reach. No. Okay. Which one looks more in the middle? This one. All right, so that is heat shielding. Um, something like this. And what was the other thing? We can definitely get two full belts of, I think it'll be stone brick from up here. Oh, we need steel. Uh, I was thinking down here we could do four belts of steel coming from the train station. Uh, let's remind ourselves we need Four belts of steel, two belts of stone brick, two belts of stone, and we've already got our heat shielding. So four, two, and two. That might be difficult, but I think... I think we can definitely make room for it. Does it even make sense to start the steel way over here? Also, if I do just use a couple of machines like this, it's going to be uh, really difficult. I may as well take advantage of this beacon a little bit more. Oh, that's facing the wrong way now. Whoops. Uh, let's undo all of that, and change this beacon somewhere like here. And then output is one per second. Now where do the... I think it's only this belt and this belt needs to have nothing but stone furnaces. Yeah, that's right. So we could maybe just do this. And they each need one blue belt of input for stone. That shouldn't be difficult. Um, can I point it in this general direction? Or is that going to be a problem for the rail? If you really want to play the game, you can download earlier versions from their website. Did something break? Yeah. Or rather use older versions. A Zipper Cap. Thank you for the rate. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, Raiders. Four steel, two stone, two stone uh, brick. I think we're definitely going to have to add... What is this doing here? Definitely going to have to add some more rail here. 
Um, we still have to figure out how to get... Oh. Oh no. Might not be able to put the electric furnaces in this spot in particular. Uh, we still need to get... How much is it? Yeah, exactly a full belt of rail to each of these blues over here. Less stressful than the last one. Thanks. Beldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Black Up, welcome, welcome. Steam betas have the earlier versions too. Nice. Um, I'm tem I'm tentatively gonna say that we're absolutely gonna have to move the uh electric furnace build down here somewhere. And we'll probably move the productivity modules up a bit. Let's get rid of that bit for now. Probably as f almost as far up as we can. I'll leave the input belts for the tier 1 modules and the furnaces as they are if I can. Um, I would prefer to not do an 8 to 8 balancer if I can because it's gigantic. That's a 10. Where's the 8 gone? 8 to X. Uh, throughput unlimited is kind of big. Uh, it's not as big as I thought it would be. It's still pretty big. And then we need actual room for the belts as well. I think I'll just rely on the train stations to get the rail where it needs to go. That's kind of a problem. Maybe I will, as I said before, uh, have all the rail meet in the middle to start with. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need this one to go here. So on. Let's start by tracing back from this one. I think that's going to give us the best feel for how much space we need here. It's actually just enough space as it is. Oops. Four. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And are we going to have room to make these ones work? Not really. I'm gonna have to move this a bit. Um. I think it might be better in this case to go in the middle. And bring those together over here. Let's 
seems good. And then... Uh, wait, what? One, two, three, four... Oh. That makes sense. And... It's gonna make this part a little bit easier, I think. Don't know what that belt is doing. We could definitely move all of these down a couple of tiles. I'll keep building it. Oh, right. I'll keep building it the way I've been building it for the moment. I think we'll just jump straight to the undergrounds for this part. Um, this one goes here. That's actually a pretty good fit. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How do magnets work? Uh... Good question. Uh, Jax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. We just need one belt here. I think. Yeah. Well, that's good. Love looking at your factories, but they are way too complicated for me. Uh, complicated is just built out of lots and lots and lots and lots of simple things. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Hope you're well also. Feel free to ask how things work. That's why I ask. I demand answers. But that's... I don't know how magnets work, though. I somewhat know how factories work. Not real factories, just Factorio factories. Uh, it might actually... I didn't think it would come to this, but I think it's going to be worth uh, squeezing out that extra tile down here. So, how was I going to do that? Oh. Uh, I don't know if that's actually possible now that I... No, I'm sure it is. Let's just remove this first. Move all of these down by one tile. Which is no small task. Okay. And then... We need... This to go here. We need this to go here. Cool. Fantastic. Is that going to cover everything? Okay. Alright. So we can move all of this down a few tiles. Which is obviously... Oh, didn't mess this part up. Gonna be a problem for these. 
just barely. That actually looks even better. Nice. And let's add some of these. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's move these in the middle somewhere. Alright. We need answers. Any fool can ask a question without answers. It only leads to stagnation. Did you just call yourself... Just imagine where we would be without Einstein bothering to do any of the work towards answers on how the universe works. Uh, I would not bet on a similar person arising at just about the same time. There is, uh, of course, a tendency towards certain things, but something like an Einstein, I don't think that comes along like clockwork. Right. We wouldn't have steam power plants based on radioactive decay. We might. Okay, I don't know if we've made enough space. Oof. Yeah, yeah. we might have to not use that space for the furnaces. Um, if we put it up here, though, that might not be too bad. And this one can go wherever. So we need stone here, we need stone brick and steel here, two belts each, and we need two belts of steel here as well. The red circuits can be brought from here. Now oh, that actually works okay. So that's how we're going to get our red circuits on the outside belt. Um, we'll probably completely reshape how we do this part. What even is this belt anymore? We were going to get heat shielding in through here, right? That's actually looking pretty convenient now. We don't need that much heat shielding, but we'll merge them together just so it outputs evenly from the cargo wagons. And having it on two belts is convenient anyway for now we need to split the red circuits. Oh, that's an incredibly good fit. I think. This little part might be inconvenient, but we can fix that. So, this goes here. That goes there, that goes there. Beautiful. And... Uh, 
same thing down here. So that's our belt for red circuits and heat shielding. And we need two belts of steel here, two belts of steel here. Um, I think we'll have a steel drop-off right about here. We might have to... We might have to merge and split it all, but I think we've got plenty of room for that. And so here we need stone and stone brick, 90 per second each. Which we should be able to manage quite easily. Um... I think we'll go the other way. Was that one left or right? Okay. It's weird being able to do this part without having signals to run into. That's why most people do grids and one build per grid. Indeed. Limit him, let it, limited himself with the rail block. The thing is, if I was going to do a rail block for just uh, just electric furnaces, which are only used here as far as I know, uh, it would be super duper overkill. Same goes for the module ones. But this whole thing here, the purple science, is requires eight belts of rail. Um, so we're definitely bottlenecked on the belt input. But beaconing this up, we've got all this extra space to use. So why not? Uh, why not have all the prerequisites come in here as well? And that saves on a bunch of train trips, also. So what I'm thinking is... Stone. Goes here. And... It's probably a better way. Since we need this stone to come out. Yeah, we're not trying to save space here, so let's just... Do it like this. Copy, paste, flip doesn't. Oh, it does actually get us what we need here. Um, since we're merging into two belts, I might do it this way. Looks fine. And of course, in the end, that's not quite. Well. What if we put this here? That goes there. Oh, we're going to need more than one stack insert of each of these. 32 per second. Wow. Um, how many stack inserters is that? It's hard to say when it's coming off of a belt. I think it's probably three. We can definitely make it four if we need to. Okay. No, I, I think it's more... Uh, I think we need more stack inserters than that. Let's assume four. And if we have to make it five... Well, we can't really fit that there. We'll have to come up with something else. 
Yum yum spaghetti? I wouldn't exactly call this spaghetti. You smoke. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rate calculator can tell you how many inserters you need, can't it? I don't know. The thing is... So, you set this to inserters. It defaults to stack inserters. Um... So this says we need 2.8 inserters for one of these machines. The thing is, I don't know if it if the assumption is that it's taking off of a belt, or if it's um, grabbing from a chest. Because if it's grabbing from a chest or a machine, it instantly picks up the entire stack, uh, and you can calculate how fast it's going to be based on... Uh, 864 degrees per second is 2.37 swings per second. Multiply that by the stack size is 23.6 items per second. Uh, considering we need 32, that'd be like one and a half. So I guess maybe this is assuming that it's picking up off a belt. Does it take into account the limited stack size from our research, though? I wonder. I want to see it go with three. If it just barely keep, uh, just barely doesn't keep up, I think that would imply that it does calculate it based on having to pick up off a belt, but then... Um, it's not accounting for not quite having the maximum stack size. Okay, so next we need a uh, stone brick. And we need that to go in one of these two belts. Yes. Whichever one's going to be easier. Uh, and the next thing is to figure out where our steel is going to go. Since we only need to fit one train on this whole line up here, uh, I would definitely prefer to... Make sure that these are separate rail blocks, except... I guess we can't. Maybe if I... We can't go any closer to the middle on both sides. So this train and this train are going to have to block the steel drop-off. Which is not that big a deal. A train station, like one full train, lasts a few minutes. So let's put that here. Um, we'll have trains allowed to come in from the south. I would have it both directions, but the train stop can only be facing one direction. And I'm not entirely sure where I want the train station to actually be. Um, we can definitely move this over a few tiles as required. But I think it would be better if we merge and split all of the steel. We've definitely got room to do that. Oh, that's actually just barely fits. I think we'll move this over a tile or two. In fact, if we move it over one tile, this part can be... Nice and symmetrical. And that gives us just enough room to have our usual 4-4 belt and lane balancer. 
And then we need two belts of steel to go here and two belts of steel to go all the way up here, actually. How much does it need? Wait, what? The whole thing... Oh, this is inserters, right. 63 steel, 63 advanced circuit. Oh. I did something silly here. Advanced circuits need to be one of the... We're going to turn around the underground blue belts here. That's going to be advanced circuits. Which means this whole merge thing is wrong. Um, that can go there, and that can go there. Perfect fit. And this way. Okay, so that's advanced circuits. This one has to be steel. And the yellow belt here needs to be heat shielding and furnaces, which means merging them is going to be a little bit more of a pain than I realized, but the whole thing only needs 25 heat shielding per second, so we can bring that down on one blue belt, even a red belt actually. I'm going to use the red belt because, um, well, we're going to use blue undergrounds anyway to minimize the amount of stuff we've got here, actually. But, yeah. So it's going to be... A red belt of heat shielding and a yellow belt of steel furnace. And now that I look at it, we're going to be running out of room for steel coming up this way. So I don't think we'll have the that's facing the wrong way. I don't think we'll have the belt of heat shielding and furnaces. Oh wait, that's slightly more than half a belt. Which means we have to do a like better merge and split over here somewhere. Okay. Um, so we need one splitter from each of these to go to something like this. And each half requires... 12 point... Okay, that should be red belt. Part of the reason I'm using different colored belts here is just to keep track of which is which. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a splitter here. And that's going to be... Wait, that's not quite right. Like that. Okay. Those two merge, and those two merge. Perfect. Mag magnets work via the electromagnetic weak force. 
Yeah, but how does that work? Like, ultimately, if you push it far back enough, it's... All you can say is it just does, right? Whoops. Um... That's gonna go like that, because it looks better. And I think I'll replace this much with yellow belt. All right. Next is... How the hell do we fit steel over here? Probably by moving this thing two tiles over. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to move this over a little bit. Which includes this part. Wait, that could that could reach over here now. I feel like this would look a little bit better. And technically that's fine, but I prefer inserters not to have to pick up off of corners. The chemical bond is the strong version of the weak electromagnetic force. Documented in the 70s and the guy who did won a Nobel Physics Prize for it. Nice. Chemical bond is electromagnetism. Weak force is one of two short distance nuclear interactions. The other one being strong force. Weak force only plays a role in a relatively small number of interactions and is mainly responsible for the beta decay. Fascinating. Empty head. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The main difference between strong and weak is how diffuse their effects are. Okay, so we've got our stone brick. We've got our stone. The stone brick doesn't actually go anywhere yet. We need steel to go to one of these. We need steel to go up here. Let's get rid of that. And up we go. This goes here. Actually, I feel like that would look a little better like this. And the other two steel belts uh, should I do the steel going to here or I think that might be easier in this instance so let's probably do that so steel goes to the outside one not that it has to be the same on both sides but I do prefer it How far does this reach? Fantastic. Alright, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. We will, of course, minimize the long straight belts. Oh, that's slightly tragic. Let's do it like this. Okay. And 
barring any mistakes that I've made, I think that is just about our build. Oh, there's a signal missing here as well. And that should be a regular signal. There's also a regular signal missing here, oddly enough. Also some filter inserters. Oops. Now some theoretical physicists think that if the multi-dimensional theory is correct, what would explain what we what we once believed was dark matter is actually bleed through from other dimensions. Uh, and these are 6.5 per second out, actually. Um, inserters, 0 0.5, allegedly. Which means this is going to have to go back one tile. That can go there. Cool. Either this is it, or there's just some small mistakes left, or I've overlooked something. Because frankly, there's so much to this build that uh, I am slightly overwhelmed at this point. Let's get rid of that big pole. Get some substations in here, and start setting up the uh, train stops. So this is going to be stone and stone brick requester. We're going to get a standard drop-off combinator. Let LTN know what's in these chests. Uh, request two train loads of stone, two train loads of stone brick, and connect the wire. Have we been able to answer what the SP... <laughs> Indeed. Next is steel. Uh, where is it? Standard drop-off. Make sure LTN knows what's here. As weird as it is, um... We're going to have no trouble whatsoever getting steel here, even though we have a shortage of iron. We have an obscene amount of steel stored away. Next is... Red circuits might take a while. Wait, that one might be unnecessary. It is not unnecessary. Right, so this is red, green circuits and rail. That's all connected already, no. Nope. So, green circuits. Red circuits. Wait, do red circuits only stack to 100 with this mod? No, they stack to 200. And 
and rail. I hope I haven't caused a bottleneck in just how quickly these trains unload. Considering how quickly we need to keep the rail flowing. That's slightly unfortunate. There's no way to there's no way to have it straight if it's gonna be like that. Unless if I move all of this down one time, we can move this down a little bit. We can put this substation here and this one here. I feel like that's a bit neater than what we would have had otherwise. There's our steel. Here comes our red circuits. The fact that we're getting red circuits already is actually a really good sign. I guess we haven't had trouble with copper for a while now. Uh, iron is probably still a problem. And this one is green circuits, heat shield, and rail. I'm just gonna copy this and change the settings on it. Let's turn it off first. Next that. Green circuits, check, rail check, and heat shielding. Two train loads. Check. Oh, did I name the stations? This one I did not. This one I did not. Uh Okay. And now there's a train headed for it, even though I turned that off. Rip. We'll just have to wait for the trains in order to update the name of the station without breaking anything. Same for this one. This one is already fine. Tell me we're getting stone delivered already. Yes, good. And what about... This must be steel. I'm just camping, waiting for the trains to arrive now. Uh, we do need to get the electric furnaces and the productivity ones united. Um... How many electric furnaces are we looking at? Twelve. I would still prefer to use blue undergrounds to get them to their destination. Uh, can we do a little better than that? Maybe put this sub here. I just want the belt merge to happen here, if it can. I guess it could happen down here, that's fine too. And a little yellow. Shouldn't need more than a red belt for this part. Okay. Substation. I feel like that's more consistent. Does that stop the power pole from the side from reaching? I feel like it's a little bit unsightly. Not as much as that diagonal wire, actually. Right, here's our chance to change the name of the station. Uh, green 
red and rail. Requester. Fantastic. And this train is picking up green circuits as well. Why use yellow belts? Um, because we don't need more than that, and it sort of tells me what goes on that part of the belt. Yeah, the whole thing actually only gives us uh, 13 productivity modules per second, and we only need 12. Okay. So we're getting our steel furnaces, which tells me we're definitely getting our stone furnaces. We're waiting on red circuits, which are coming in now. Uh, I may have forgotten to... Oh. That would help. Also, green circuits, I didn't put where they need to go, but that's literally just... Here. Also, also, I didn't even consider that maybe the one station of green circuits would be able to feed everything. Uh, it could have. Well, that might not have been two full belts anymore. It's fine. But yeah, we need to connect... This one here, and this one to here, which I think the way I did that was like this, yes. It does take a bit longer than I would like to unload the red circuits. Um, no, I was going to say something a bit stupid for a second there, but it's fine. Although we do get 32,000 of them per delivery, and the entire block uses... uses... did I not do this? There we go. 76 per second... So, 421 seconds, what? Uh, seven minutes. If we were to continuously produce purple science at maximum speed, we would need a red circuit train to arrive here every seven minutes. My only concern is the amount of time it takes to unload is going to block other trains. Yeah, that might prove to be more of an issue than I anticipated. Let's update the name of the station. Uh, green circuit, heat shield, and rail. Requester. I think that just leaves the steel that needs to be corrected. Fantastic. Nice. Why is there only half a belt on each of these? Oh, I see. That's actually fine. No, it isn't. We should have a lane balancer somewhere. Um, where's the best place to fit one now? We can't fit a wide here, or a long. Can't really do a corner there. We might be able to fit a wide down here. Nope. If I move these belts up a bit, we could do a wide one here. I think that's almost the only option. Here is fine. Let's move you up this way. And 
that has to go there. And we'll put priority, go to the lane belt balancing side. And more of these all empty as soon as some stone brick is consumed. Since I have a million stone in my inventory, why don't we drop it off here? So what are we still waiting on? Heat shielding and rail on this side. That's more green circuits. That's heat shielding. Oh, and there's no green circuits here right now. Really? Products finished zero. Uh, did we just not get green circuits here yet? That makes sense. Although the red circuits, um, something is wrong here. Red circuit equals zero. Read hand contents hold, read belt contents hold. Red circuits equals zero. Oh, it's here. It's just one little bit of belt that I missed. Craftily hidden. Fantastic. And is that actually going to saturate the belts with only four inserters per side? Uh, those are some giant gaps. But we don't actually need 90 per second. I wonder if this is enough. 76 per second. That might be a bit dodgy. Maybe I should just get rid of the balanced unloader part for that. We don't have a lane balancer, and that will act like a lane balancer. I don't really have room to lane balance either. We are consuming from the same, uh, from each side of the belts equally, though. All right, here comes our green circuits and heat shielding. And at least half of this will get going if only one of the stations has rail. Unlike on the western side, I didn't make the same mistake. Unloading heat shielding. And that's our electric furnaces. Fantastic. Are the inserters keeping up and everything? They are... not. Yeah, the long arms aren't keeping up. We do have a stack size of two. If we can get the final stack inserter upgrade, we need material science too. That'll increase the capacity by 50% for the long arm inserters. We're almost going at full speed with a stack size of two. I guess that's fine. I'm not going to bother to change that. And if I was going to bother, what would I even do with the space that we have? And there's our prods. And there's our purple science. Fantastic. It only took seven hours, but here we are. And I think that leaves only military science to go for the basics in the rail network. Yay, indeed.
I haven't seen a single purple science make its way down here yet. Products finished, too. Oh, it is a very slow recipe. As much as it needs a ton of rail. And there she goes. Thank you, Diakos. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Heimer Wayne. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well also. Heavy equals a lot of energy. That's why I discovered it last. Oh, the physics stuff. You break red belt by moving one tile down. It'll put wrong resource onto the red belt. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Uh, which red belt did I maybe break? Was it this one? I was messing around with that a bit. Fantastic. I'm pretty happy with that build. Although this is a little bit odd. Uh, this thing is designed to do four continuous blue belts of output with the balanced unload, but it's because they're not being consumed evenly. I could put a lane balancer here and here if I really want to. All right, cool. Bedtime, enjoy. Take care, West dude. Thanks for dropping by. That is a good routine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so the only basic science left to procrastinate is military science, which unfortunately requires Piercing rounds, mags, grenades, and stone walls. Uh, none of which I've got in the rail network. I might try doing a build something like this again. Since, especially since we don't need that much military science. In fact, come to think of it. Okay, some... Okay, some things do still require military science. Uh, yeah. You know what? I think we might take a break from the artillery shell range research and see how much mining productivity six we can power through with the many, many, uh, bioscience that we've got accumulated here. S since this doesn't need any, um... Uh, what do you call it? Material science packs? Uh, and that's the only thing that we were bottlenecked on up here while doing that long research. Um, we've got everything else backed up. We should be able to power through at least some of Mining Productivity 6 with relative ease. There goes 1%. And here comes some more rail. Oh, I think the whole... The rail over here may have stopped because of this rail not being here. I hope I'm wrong about that. We've got a full belt of other prerequisites. Uh, this would have helped. So just to double check, I think this is all slightly more than one blue belt at max speed, yes. So that should go there. And 
bring this over here. Excuse me. And there it goes. Beautiful purple signs. I think that deserves a save. Just in case. Um, we're not bottlenecking on the inserters. Not even close. Good. Right then. What have we been neglecting besides our military while we were doing all of that? Let's get them to clean up this mess over here. And I might get some artillery aimed over this way. Might be a good idea to grab that mod Mucky uses to drag a box and to auto-target everything here. Even though I only want to target the spawners. There's another change of biome. I haven't used artillery much in a while. Apart from the automatic artillery that we set up up here. Okay. That'll soften them up a bit. And spiders. You can probably handle the rest pretty easily. Actually, I don't want to be careless with that. Let's get them repaired and see how much ammo they have after this. And come to think of it, hope they don't run into... Well, I think if they run into an army of biters, they can handle it pretty easily, actually. It's really more just the worms that they have any trouble with. Uh, most of them still have more than 700 rockets, so I'm not too worried. Right then. Also, green science hasn't been running for that long because I didn't do the prerequisites. Uh, theoretically, it can do four blue belts continuously, but we've run out of resources for the inserters. Do you have nuclear artillery shells? Uh, no, I do not. I didn't realize that was a thing. Nuclear, atomic, I don't see any mention of nuclear artillery. Although I do have the pile drivers, which can deliver nukes if I want them to. Come to think of it, that might be a hell of a lot more resource efficient. Um, but if I have them auto-target... They're going to shoot just anything with a nuke, which is uh, maybe a little bit much. I can't really check what it takes. I think it's an atomic bomb plus the... Um, weapon delivery capsule. Probably also needs some rocket control units or something. 
It's actually only one rocket control unit for each shot fired by these, so that's nowhere near as much of a drain on rocket control units as I thought it might be. They're taking actual damage. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. That's way too much. Glad I checked on them. Alright. Let's send you back to get... Rockets. As long as you need to repair anyway. The front one doesn't have a whole lot of rockets left. And I keep forgetting that these walls are actually fully upgraded. Just because they're new, it feels like they should be weak or something. We could do a wall... like this way. Technically, this part's undefended, but I don't think the biters are going to travel all the way through here to make an expansion over here somewhere. Although we would have to get the logistics through there anyway. I do look forward to finally clearing the entire planet out of biters and removing the walls. Although that's an insane amount of infrastructure to have sitting around in chests, I guess. They took the aggro, the artillery fire was going to get sent to you uh, by the wall, possibly, yeah. I feel like I should have done maybe not a full rail block but something in the rail network to make a whole lot of spiked steel walls. I could do... have I done walls here? I don't think I have. I think that'll probably be good enough. So let's start... We need three different types of walls. Let's do gates as well. Uh, I'd like to do it relatively close to the other military stuff. Am I doubly sure that I haven't done this already? I don't think I have. Okay. Quest from buffer chests. That is a lot. Well, it's done now. Uh, stone wall. What is this? Spaceship wall. Less than 4,000. Stone wall goes here. 4,800. Um, same thing applies, but for... Wait, I think concrete wall only stacks to 50, doesn't it? Yeah. So, 2,000. 2,400. Limit to 2,000. And this will be the same, but with spikes. Rip bot. Um, I don't think this is a high priority. Yeah, so maybe Iron is doing a bit better now.
And same thing for gates. Actually, I don't think we need 2,000 gates, do we? Let's limit it to something like 500. And as many as we can fit in this chest. Alright, cool. Now, I feel like I should have this little bit of black cleared out. It's actually a pretty big body of water here. We could fit all the nuclear plants we can eat. Uh, did military spiders get back yet? Almost. The real test of iron is, have we got any rough data storage substrates? I feel like. Oh, there's iron here. So what's going on? This one's missing glass. Wait, what? We've got iron and glass. Don't tell me it's been like this for a while. There's also iron and glass on this side. Uh, I think we need a splitter to merge those, but keep them on the same side. Yeah, let's head over there and fix that. And I was so pleased with this build. I mean, I am pleased with this build, but that is an oversight. I'm a little bit surprised, even without considering that, that this... that it can happen this way. So there's nothing but iron on this belt, and nothing but glass on this belt. How weird is that? Should send a care package to the biters on that tiny island? Uh, that that's a natural zoo. You gotta preserve a natural zoo, right? That's like that one island of tribals who attack everyone that <laughs> visits them. I bet they don't know what COVID is. All right. Unfortunately, we can't use picket dollies to move these, so we'll have to do a deconstruct. And splitter goes here, 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 and here. And that should be that. Oh, wait. Good old North Sentinel Island, yes. And one more. I'm a little embarrassed if all this time for tens of hours it wasn't just iron throughput that was the problem, but it was stuck because we had no splitters here. It's important not to use a lane balancer when you unload them to specific sides of the belt like this, or a belt balancer, but uh, splitters, splitters are good, and splitters do preserve which side of the belt the item is on. Fantastic. I don't think they need to worry about COVID as long as the missionaries stay away. Yeah. Alright. Uh, 
we didn't put a radar over here. Let's do that. Also, I think the purple science build, I needed to place the radar as well. Although, it does have a radar on either side of it, so it's doing fine. Right then. Oh, we're also going to have a little bit of space unavailable when we do the... Uh, when we do the military science build, if we put it where I want to put it. So then. That, wait, what? Um. None of these, wait, what? None of these lasers are powered. Okay. That just goes to show how strong the flamethrowers and uranium ammo gun turrets are. These ones are... F half of these ones are fine. Oh no. None of these are okay. They're not connected to power up here. Um, okay. Let's start by using the navsat. Wait, which side is it? I thought that looked weird. It wasn't just... It wasn't just that that... Okay. That should go like that. Can I fix this on the other on the other ones by copy pasting? Uh like this. Yes. Okay, good. Let's copy paste the part around the roboport. That's the easiest part to see where it's supposed to go. And unless I do like a snap to grid relative, this is going to get a bit tedious. So let's do this. Actually, okay, I need to steal the measurements from this one. 48 and 40. Oh, height doesn't matter. 48. The width is 48. So if I do this... Snap to grid relative width 48. Uh, height really doesn't matter. Actually, I'll make sure I don't accidentally copy it vertically. Put this in place, drag, and we should see all of those fixed. Fantastic. Let's do it over here. We can even do it via the map and see all the power connections being corrected as we go. just in time for some biters. Where does this go? Great. Ah, all right, I need to update that blueprint. And what about this one? That one's fine. Is the power dead? Grid, power grid dead. No, it's not. Uh, fat boy, it's Ez. Easier because lasers draw a lot of power. Is a separate power network really needed? Why not main network? Um, for a couple of reasons. We can have as many laser turrets as we want without paying the 
24 kilowatts a uh, constant draw from each of them all the time, which really adds up. Although this one doesn't have as many lasers as I've used in the past. Um, it really does add up to a lot when you have massive walls everywhere. Um, like, here we've got just this one wall alone. Uh, over a thousand laser turrets. So 24, uh, 24 megawatt of power draw when they're just sitting there. That we're not paying because of the power switches. But also, um, this is one way we can detect when biters have arrived. And this is my first experiment with it, really, but uh, basically we have these gates open until biters attack, and ideally the gates shut in their face and then they get confused and have to path around through the nearest gate on either side, which buys the defense's crucial seconds. And also causes them to sit in a fire for longer. Alright, now that we've got uh, rough data storage substrates flowing again, that'll mean the orbital base, uh, the orbital main bus base, is going eventually to be able to produce its own uh, data cards again. Although I am surprised at how long it's been ticking along just running off of recycled data cards. Very surprised, actually. It seems like all the other sciences, the loop that I made for the data cards coming out of here, uh, hasn't been a... What? Uh... Oh, it's catalogs. Interesting. We're hardly getting any catalogs because... Infrared? That's probably a fluid thing. Okay, UV is backed up. Infrared is backed up. Infrared observation data is... This is where the there's hardly any blank data cards getting to. Meanwhile, bioscience is purring along happily. We're actually at 40% for Mining Productivity 6 already. That is going to be a not insignificant boost, considering that we're going to get more of every core fragment from several planets. Where are you taking the stone? Back to storage. Fair enough. Hmm. I should probably... I should probably set this station so that it doesn't deliver things to storage, actually. And with that out of the way, why don't you just... Get going now. Where are all of these explosives going all of a sudden? Oh, they're just going to an arbitrary storage chest. Iridium plate. Fantastic. Alright. 
what, what should we do now? We've got, uh, we've got everything flowing again. Oh, wow. I wouldn't have thought it would update it through the fog of war, but it seems the, uh, it seems those cannons have been a doing a pretty good job, actually, of slowly clearing out that planet without me doing anything actively. I think we're down to about almost half as many biter bases remaining, and that's going to accelerate because they're going to be expanding not as quickly. Nice. Military spiders go... Over here, please. Actually, let's use the Navsat to explore this area a bit. I really want to know where the bottlenecks are. I fear there are not any bottlenecks from my vague recollection of when we had this whole area explored before. Yeah, that area is huge. That's a lot of work to do. I wonder how close we are to the edge of the map. I think someone mentioned a way that you can uh, make space exploration ping the edges of the planet. But I don't recall how to do it. It might have been a console command or something. Okay. So there really, really isn't uh, some choke point that we can take advantage of here. I think we'll just have to, well, we could do another little fort, or I haven't done that in a while, maybe design a bigger one, uh, we could do a fort for one of the big artillery trains, and back it up with spiders as well. Replace planet underscore radius with planet's radius and planet name with... Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try this. GPS equals... Oh, okay. What's the radius of Nalvis? And why did everything just go dark? There we go. Uh, 5692. GPS equals five six nine two zero. Now this. Do I need to be on the surface while I do that? Oh, I just lost it. Five six nine two. Five six nine two zero. Of this. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, the spiders were stuck as well. Alright, where's this ping? Invalid surface? Huh? N-A-U-V-I-S. N-A-U-V-I-S. Hmm. Uh, was the syntax wrong? Lowercase n? I have to backspace the entire thing. GPS equals 56920 Alvis. 
That does not appear to be the... Oh, it is. This is to the east. The planet is rather big, but it's not... totally insurmountable. It is going to take quite a while to clear out by conventional means. Maybe we should point these at Nalvis as soon as we finish clearing out the planet that we've been clearing out. Small letter, yeah. Indeed. So... The edge is probably around here somewhere? I'm kind of drawing a blank on what I should be doing right now. I guess since I'm not really going to be sending these military spiders uh, to every little spider base manually. Um... I, sh I think I'll end up just waiting for the pile drivers to finish everything off here. And it seems like the biters are never going to bother to attack. And the pile driver seems to favor clearing out the biters from the middle of the map. Which makes it all the more safe, probably. We also really haven't been struggling with Vita Melange, so I can't really be bothered yet um, going over there to make more... Well, we could definitely remotely add a few more core mining drills. We could double the speed of this. I think... Oh, we don't have enough power. Yeah, we're actually a lot closer to... No, we've got tons of power to spare. Okay. I think the thing to do now is look at landing on another planet. And the one I've got in mind is definitely not the stone planet with a 100% biter threat and a bigger radius than Nalvis. Although there is a mysterious structure there. Um... We've got everything, we've got every core fragment except for barrel, and there was something else. Nope, this is it. Morpheus has barrel. Small-ish planet, kind of. 17% biter threat is not a whole lot. 26% solar is not a whole lot. We've got an ocean, so we could definitely do nuclear power. We can't send anything by cannon. So everything is going to have to happen via cargo rocket. That is... If I just use one cargo rocket for each different resource, it's not difficult. It's just a little bit of a nuisance, although I've already got a good system set up in the rail network to deliver different resources. Um, Do these have to be set to... That's right, if you set it to uh, any landing pad with name, it just costs more fuel, right? Devjok, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Good morning. Thank you for the follow. Oh, timing. I literally couldn't have asked for better timing than for a rocket to launch just after I start staring at the cargo rocket silo. Nice. That'll be going to Nervous Orbit, either up here or over here. We should see it on the map in a second, unless I already missed it. That's a different rocket. Been waiting on this one for a while. Rough data storage substrates go. That means we can make blank data cards, which means science is going to be going full speed again. Fantastic. At least for a while. We could go into space and start making rail blocks. But I think what I would really like to do is get barrel. This will be my first interstellar project. Um, I don't think we're going to run it off solar. We're not going to have spidertrons. Dropped in there. Well, not in the cargo rocket. Was AFK for a bit? How is the situation with iron consumption? It has improved. Um, I do have... I think this station was broken for a while, so that's another 180 iron ore per second. Uh, but also, we've got... Uh, let's see... 16.8 iron plate per second coming from uh, Marielle. Not a whole lot, but it helps. Actually, I wonder... I should probably see if we can double this. Uh, 12 iron ore per second. Somehow I think we can double this. 88. Wow. Okay. So really we should be doing two blue belts coming back here. Um, we might be bottlenecked on these two. We are not bottlenecked on the two delivery cannons. So let's see. We're going to need this splitter to come back here. Actually, I think it would be a little better to keep this nice and close. And let's get our construction spider in range, if I can remember where I left it. I think it's out of range of... No, it's not. Roboports are doing their best. I think the spider has all the belt, though. Also, are there not... There's one construction robot... <laughs> in the robo network. Okay. I could always change the robo, the construction bot requests uh, from the construction spider. But it's already bringing the furnaces. I think that'll be fine. How many productivities have we got left? 14. That's not great. I think I care more about the throughput though, so we'll just put in as many product 
activities as we can. One very diligent drone. Yes, indeed. When can you build a spaceship? I have no idea. Um, we're getting close to running out of things we can... Oh, that's pretty cheap. That's another simulation. Um, we're sort of, sort of getting close to running out of things we can do with the tier one, uh, space sciences. And I don't know if I'm going to need beryl for, well, I'm definitely going to need beryl for some of the more advanced sciences. So before I find out that I need it, I would like to go get it. The tricky thing is, um, how many cargo rockets are we going to need? I tried building a system a while ago which would put a bunch of different things in one cargo rocket uh, based on what was needed. That part's not too difficult, but if you want to fill the cargo rocket with useful things based on that ratio, it gets pretty challenging. Also, when you have an automatic launch trigger, no matter what it is, no matter how you set it up, it will not send a rocket to a, a cargo landing pad automatically unless the cargo landing pad is empty. So you can't use the cargo landing pad as a storage from which you can measure how much stuff you've got left. Um, at best you could have maybe another cargo landing pad, or just a ludicrous number of chests, um, more than 10 of them, that you put all that stuff in. Um, I guess I could try. How many, if I don't do it this way, how many different things do I have to send to uh, Morpheus just to, just to send Beryl back? I need to send cargo rocket sections, preferably packed. I need to send um, a uh, capsule, unless I want to, unless I want to send a rocket once every time, I mean, I could do that. It'd be a lot easier, it just wouldn't be very efficient if I were to send a cargo rocket with packed cargo rocket sections based on how many cargo rocket sections we've got left and use the space capsule to come back every time. So I'd be sending a launch to Morpheus for every launch that I sent back from uh, Morpheus. We could also Well, there's crude oil here, so we can make the rocket fuel. I don't think we need to pack in a bunch of uh, uh, vulcanite blocks that we turn into liquid rocket fuel to come back. In fact, that would be a massive waste. Better to set up some oil production on planet. I could always, like, every time we run out of materials to send a rocket back, I could send uh, enough for, like, five rockets or something. Hmm. This is the kind of thing that I would rather be trying to figure out 
without it being an interstellar trip. Okay, for starters, we're definitely taking this stuff. Um, actually, let's make sure we empty the whole thing before we do that. We almost done. Fantastic. Okay. Let's switch this on. I may or may not take the solar panels. It definitely doesn't hurt to be able to make some power just immediately, even if the solar isn't that good there. If we're going to send up core fragments back in a cargo rocket, um, it's going to take quite a while to fill the rocket with core fragments. But that's fine, I think. We also need to take some military spiders. I'll put them in my inventory so that they've got all the uh, power armor stuff. Speaking of which, uh, why don't we put some of them to good use? Right after a little bit of artillery. Wait, did I restock them? Yeah, I did. That'll soften them up. Cannon shells are getting shot pretty quick. Alright, that's probably enough to let the spiders walk all over that lot quite easily. I mean, the spiders could handle this regardless, it just makes it uh, signi significantly less dangerous. misspeaking a lot lately. Alright. And we'll have the spiders go around the angry biters. That should just about do it. And back to base. Okay, so we're taking an umbrella, a bunch of solar, Signal transmitters and receivers, bunch of construction bots, uh, cargo rocket sections. We'll probably take more of those. We'll see how much space is left over when we're done here. I definitely don't want to underestimate how much belt uh blue belt in particular we're gonna want uh this time pipe is probably fine we've got some i'm always carrying the chemical plants that's not gonna be a problem we should probably set up nuclear 
Actually, no. I don't know if we should set up nuclear. We're going to have to place a lot of solar to get a little bit of core mining without nuclear, though. Um, but maybe we can find it on planet. Um, uranium doesn't look so great. If we do run nuclear power, we'll probably have to send nuclear fuel over there. Remember, we can't use delivery cannons. Hmm. I'd definitely rather have... Um, extra productivity is then not enough. And how is our military looking? One of them's not shielded at the moment. Okay, let's have them back off just a little bit. Move around the edges. And back this way. That should do it. If that's a better pattern, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to queue up as well. They do run in a straight line and get hit by the spit, but then when they get slowed down, all of the other spit misses them. So it's kind of like a natural zigzag. As long as there's not too much, uh, too many worms in range at any given time, it actually seems extremely effective. It might take them slightly longer to kill the spawners, but they can deal with biters pretty easily. I guess it's going to cost a bit more ammo, but they're going to be a lot safer, which I'm much happier with than the alternative. Alright, what are we still loading over here? Quite a lot, actually. Um, I guess while we're waiting for that, is there anything else I should be doing? Nothing really comes to mind. Let's have a look at our iron supply here. 15k, 30k, 20k. 23k. This is all lower than the threshold to pick it up because of the precise loaders. Um, so that tells me we're not doing that great just yet. This one has a load available and there's a train coming to pick it up. Let's see. Three, uh, 30,000... So we had like 6,000 more iron plate here by the time the train arrived. Considering I'm seeing three of them picking up iron plate at the same time, I guess our iron flow isn't that bad. Hopefully we'll stop seeing uh, empty iron plate inputs all over the place in the near future. Emulators go burn. And... Let's 
spiders haven't even taken a scratch since that, uh, since I changed the path. Let's do a bit more artillery. Wait, is this in range? Very much so. Let's start with the longest range bit. I don't want to lose track of which ones I've shot at and waste ammo, so I'm going to bounce around from one base to the next. I'm seriously considering using that mod that just auto-targets all of the stationary threats. Next time. Spiders are still looking healthy. Fantastic. Alright, that's gonna make light work for the spiders, I think. Oop, no artillery in range. How many rockets do they have left? Still quite a lot. Fantastic. So, what are we still loading here? Prods, a bit of rocket fuel, anti-media defenses, umbrella, and packed cargo rocket sections. Oh, that's what I, that's what I want to be taking that I never remember. Cliff explosives. Fantastic, we finally got it right. And what else do I end up crafting when I get there? Also, why am I still carrying six nuclear reactors? I'm not going to uh, need the delivery cannons, I don't think. But it's probably more trouble to take them out of my inventory. Uh, change the logistic requests back and forth, that is. Hopefully nothing else going to appear as problem when it will be enough iron. It's Factorio cycle after all, when one resource is enough, you usually bottleneck in another. Yeah, of course. Uh, especially when... There was a time when I had, like, basically every resource completely backed up, uh, running everything off of core mining, and we'd basically built everything that we were going to build for now. But once I got the orbital main bus base going, um, that is pretty high throughput. Uh, and there's a lot of storage capacity there as well. So, this is getting a little bit dangerous. Do I need to intervene? I don't think so. Oh, yes I do. The front one's getting 
badly hurt. I don't think they would have died from this, but yeah. Obviously it's good to get a feel for how much they can manage while I'm not looking. How far from Plague Rocket? Uh, I don't actually know. Let's have a look. Once I... Once the spiders are out of danger. Send them back for repairs. Alright, that should be... It. Fantastic. All right, plague rocket requires biological science pack four. That is a while away. Although now that we've got space rail, um, and twenty four thousand space rail, at that it's still quite a lot of this stuff. We've got another 25,000 regular rail that we can turn into more space rail. Uh, it's actually one to one to one, except for energy catalog. So, yeah, we can make 25,000 more space rail here from what's already up here. Um, yeah, now that we've got rail blocks in space, or we can start making rail blocks in space. I think things are going to accelerate once I start building that out, because instead of having to worry about all of these interconnecting things, how the hell do I, you know, especially with a belt system, for example, that's pretty much hard mode for the space sciences. Even the tier one sciences um, got pretty tricky. Um... But when you can do everything in rail blocks, it's all just a bunch of isolated inputs and outputs. I don't think any of them are going to be that much more difficult than, say, the purple science block that builds all of its direct prerequisites by itself. Um, but yeah, that is something to look forward to. I just want to get Beryl coming in infinitely and automatically before we try uh, building everything in space. And that's going to be a game changer. So I think it's about time to find a stream to raid for today. Let's see who is streaming Factorio. Uh, what do we got? Mucky... I think we raided Mucky quite recently, didn't we? Or was that Gamer's Circle yesterday? Uh, who else? Who else in English? I think we might just... Oh, Arab guy. It's been a while. Thanks for another great stream. No worries. Thank you very much for hanging out. Take care, guys. Oh, you too, Valdo. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprint. Blair, words. Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, until next time, take care. See you guys. See you, Black Ops. Really? Uh, remember that green chip uh, blueprint? No, what green chip blueprint? I don't have green chip blueprint. You didn't send me no green chips. Or